subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Smile. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. This game is like anathema to me. Any text longer than the rules on MTG's Blood Moon appearing on a card is evil. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Two years. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Wayne a long Wayne a boo Wayne a je. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Wow, we. Almost two years with the Wayne. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Please, 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 please. Twenty funny months. That's the longest time there's ever hey. been. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. How we doing? Welcome. Hey, guy. Oh. Cardmaster? Yeah, it's me, Cardmaster. As I am known. As I am known to be known, welcome to Wayne Radio TV. I summon Pot of Greg. First stream of 2022. Subscribe to me, please. Please, 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 please. Not really, but it feels like it. It's good to be back for Boating Burger. Welcome, everybody. The Lucky Carter himself? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Luke. Oh, Luke. How are you all doing? Thank you for the already level 5 hype train. We're gonna... This intro is gonna be a little long. Uh, as it's been a while since the last stream, uh, the resubs are gonna be, uh, they're gonna be a thing. Hey, I gotta say, we got some new emotes. Uh, we got an, our first ever wow. follower emote. 20 moths. Which means, so many good streaming if you follow the channel, always love to see more. if any of Thank you follow you the channel, you can use the new emotes. Long Burger. You know it, you love it. Long Burger. Now in chat form. It's not only just on the screen to block codes and secret stuff. It's now uh, in your home, in your chat. That burger can be as long as you want. That disgusting, sloppy thing brought to you by Burger King can now be yours for a low price of free. And we got a new paid emote. Uh, it replaced uh, one of the animated emotes. I don't. I, the one that was just the waiter's strongest Wayne human, way but it shook. Because we already we have a flat version of that still, so we kept it. Uh, is now Wayner Obliterate, which uh, I can't say is an original emote, but it's a very good one. As 2022, it's the year of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Can I can I get a clip of that? Does, does that exist? Hold on a second. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Does it not exist? What? How is there not a video on YouTube that's just of Yugi going Yu-Gi-Oh! Because that shit fucking. I'm getting what? that feeling. When I look up Yugi yelling Yu-Gi-Oh, it I don't get a result. Bullshit. Uh. Wait, I think this I think this will work. Sixteen months. That's like a lot of them. There we go, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tonight is Yu-Gi-Oh night. Uh, a game called Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel came out while I was on my little mini hiatus. Uh, and uh, I have been playing it a lot. 
a lot. This is pretty much how I've been spending we'll my break. Uh, on and off the computer, it is a, it is a, it consumed my life, and I feel like I'm just getting out of it. Not that I'm, not that I'm done with it, but I'm out of like playing position. it nonstop. Uh, but I still really like it, and that's kind of a surprise. Like I've got over fucking, of course I left the client on AFK, but I've got over a hundred hours logged into the game already. And I that's stupid. That should not be happening. I should chance. not be playing Yu-Gi-Oh for tens and tens of hours in 2022. Please. It doesn't make any sense. Was Yu-Gi named after the card game? We, do, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Uh, but Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is the MTG Arena equivalent for the card game Yu-Gi-Oh! All of you know Yu-Gi-Oh! If you're here, you should at least have some knowledge of Yu-Gi-Oh! To, the, to the extent of like Pot of Greed. If you know, you know, a funny, famous video made by a, a really funny guy. Uh, oh, my freak and it's fucking great. Me. Like, it, it's kind of crazy. I didn't expect it to be so good. It's so much fun. Uh, but I figured out that Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2022, as everyone did, the, it's, the jokes about it are done to hell at this point, but... Everybody has learned that Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2022 is not what you played in middle school. Um, and uh, every, I think everyone's experience of the game, who is not like familiar with modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, probably has some common ground. Uh, chat. Who in chat downloaded Master Duel and was just overwhelmed or pissed off or hated what Yu-Gi-Oh! is right now? Wait, did you turn it on and did you get hit by fucking, like... Tri Brigade first, like, immediately get hit by somebody's insane Tri Brigade deck. Holy shit, that was an 800% hype train. I didn't see that until right now. Fuck yeah. Dark Magician sucked me off. What version of the game you got, Small Male? That's awesome. That fucking rocks. Hey, why are you all going choo choo? That looks like a chant to me, which is a feature that Twitch removed. You can't do chants anymore, and here they are taunting me with this, with this is essentially 16, a corporate so chant. Choo choo and a little, a little Twitch emote. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. They give you a button to say choo choo, but they take away our chants. Yeah, they took it away. They said that it hurt engagement. They said that it. They said that it drove viewer numbers down when people use chants due to some bullshit statistics, which is false, which is not fucking true. Sure. I'll say sometimes in our chat, oh, yeah. chats were oh, yeah. sometimes Eight stupid, months. sometimes Rock they were very Ricky. good, but I don't think they should have just taken them away. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Thank you, Sydney Lavender. Two years, baby. Let's get ready to do I can't DVD ask them, Len. I don't know where to ask them. All right, I am joined tonight. I am joined tonight by three friends on this mystical card journey. Trog, how are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Log? I'm all set. Magic the Gathering. Can't wait. Log is, uh, lo Log's tuned to the wrong channel. And Gur. Oh, hi. Huh. Who's muted, so I don't know if I actually... Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! You know, I played back the, uh, that clip of him yelling that whenever he does his transformation. Is going to be uh, a I don't know the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh whatsoever. Uh, Nina, I have no Log idea if this will be incomprehensible. I think I'll, I think I'll be able to make it fun for you. Uh, I'm not gonna be playing Yu-Gi-Oh the way, uh, that they Hi, want Elena. me to. <laughs> um, uh, I, uh, yeah. I have my own ways of playing. Uh, the, which is why I've been having so much fun with this game. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, is a fucking oh, broken oh. card game that's- It's, time to it's do stupid. It. It's dumb. It is- it, is, it is insane. I don't- I don't even know how to put it into words. Uh, but I will not be playing a meta deck. Not a single deck I have is meta. Uh, anti-meta. However, it will be the new meta once you see my 100% win rate. Uh, so I'm joined today by three friends, uh, and they are not my only friends who are into Yu-Gi-Oh. Pretty much everybody, I'd say like 80% of our group is playing Yu-Gi-Oh in some capacity. Even like fucking Scorpy, who I would not peg for like a competitive card game player in the slightest, is playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Scorpy is a is a, a practitioner of the Prank Kids deck. He loves his prank kids like oh, prank kids Mew Mew and prank kids three. Bootler uh, and you prank forget. kids Dropsies and Roxies and No Nos. What? Scorpy's a master chef now. 
Yeah. What? Oh yeah, he that's right. He plays his burger decks. Burger decks. <laughs> that's right. He plays his burger decks. Scorpy, Scorpy has <laughs> resu has uh, switched to playing the game, trying to just get a burger card on the field, and then uh, spelling out words like feed uh, and uh, what other words does he spell? I don't know if he can spell any of the other ones. He's never spelled a single word. He hasn't done no, it. No, I don't think so. Do it. it would be really hard to, to, to be honest. Like to be oh, fair. Game. I am a skull servant deck too. Uh, Snicker Night Live. I do have that. I do have that deck. It's not the optimal version yet, but I have one. I might. I'll probably. I'll probably play every one of my decks. Thank you, Put P for the five gifts. Oh up. shit! I'll probably play uh, every single one of my decks tonight. You'll see them all. Uh, including the the bad ones. I might be I might be absent the first eight minutes of this stream. I'm sniping. Oh my god! Eight minutes. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We're trying to snipe this eBay bid. You gotta. God damn it! Good night, everybody. I guess we'll just wait. For all the credits. State of some of these cards better have titties on them. They don't. It's actually something that I marveled at when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Small Mill. Is that like I was kind of surprised as anime as Yu-Gi-Oh! is. There's not that many titty oh, cards. Yeah. They're, they're like, most cards no, are not like really. very tasteful. And I appreciate they don't yeah. titty cards. I know. I was like, I, I was just kind of surprised because so many of them are very anime. Yu Gi Oh! is just very cards. cartoonish. It's, a very, yeah. it's, it's very cartoony, it's very wholesome. Um, it's full of great characters like Italian Gears and Grandpa. And burger. Uh, a burger and uh, chicken game and a mm -hmm. dragon. Sugar Whatever card. is on the our card art chicken, chicken game. game. <laughs> you guys so are like, like, I can't wait to start chat chicken game. Thank you, so, Spockland. So like okay. they got they got started off the bat it's just like all the popular like figures of Yu-Gi-Oh just like right off the bat. It was just like a wizard. It was a big dragon. It was a pharaoh monster golem. Two freaking years. You know, it's just Hell like yes. so. Yeah stuff like that and so like they have to focus on that and then like the guy who created Yu-Gi-Oh! I think he just has an obsession with drawing like a bulbous green ogre Almost over and over and putting <laughs> putting him in every card. No. Well, are you talking about the upstart goblin? Upstart goblin and also like the guy on There's shirt exchange goblin. and I mean there there is yeah, reckless, a recurring goblin there are recurring goblin characters. There are multiple yeah. green goblins in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's the one great. on like there's the one on like that grass looks greener, and uh, I think that's the one from what is it? Not just dessert. Thank you, Carlos. I can't remember what the card what is. What is that guy's name? Tiefling Kazuma says, Takahashi or something? Tiefling says I always thought Yu-Gi-Oh was the Digimon to MTG's Pokemon. Uh, no. I don't really know. That's just like that's a, a lot of words. That's a hard I don't analogy know what that means. to like fully parse. Yeah, I don't uh, know. But like, brain's too small. Yu-Gi-Oh is. Yu-Gi-Oh is its own thing, honestly. Yeah, like, because Yu-Gi-Oh it is a wholly unique card game. There, there is no other card game like Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh was not fun. made to compete with MTG, and it was not made like inherently copying MTG either. Because no, Yu-Gi-Oh was a fake card game from a yeah. cartoon. Yu-Gi-Oh was, was yeah. the, 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 the manga and, and the anime do, 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 predate the game. I don't know if a lot of people to... know that. Probably a lot of people made... know that. It was made to, yeah, it's completely, it feels different because it's completely different because they were trying to well, make money off of manga and anime. Yeah, and uh, it kind of shows. <laughs> it's completely <laughs> warped because it was originally created by somebody that wasn't going to make a card game and it was instead drawing goblins and ogres and whatever an Ojama is. Hey, I love, I love the card art in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is a good game. It's also a shit game. Uh, Cyanines in chat saying the Calvin Ball of card Wait, games is, uh, that's a good description. Uh, our friend Freya calls it that very, a lot, a lot. Uh, we've also been watching the Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the, the original Four Kids season one of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, we've been watching that. We're on like episode Wait. like 20. Uh, we're yeah. having a blast with that. That show is fucking fantastic. You know fantastic. what? Yu-Gi-Oh is the Griff Ball of card games. What's Griff Ball? Is that Griff Ball is a famous Griff Ball was like Griff Ball was a made up like game in Red versus Blue, and then it became a real game mode in Halo. All right. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's time to jump in. We can't talk about the, our anime watching too much because I want to save that for the podcast. Even though we do have the podcast help! here. Yugi, help me! Yugi! I've been trapped inside a TV by Pegasus's evil curse. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Why is the 
Hey, why is the square still there? The square doesn't make the, <laughs> the government tracks me with missiles everywhere I go. Uh, I it looks like even I in the shadow game. realm. Even even in the shadow realm, even after losing a shadow game, I'm still targeted. Can you believe it? Hello, everyone. I'm speaking to you uh, from beyond the the realm which you know. I'm in the shadow realm. Uh, I'm Win Radio TV, and today we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And today I will show you how to win every match. Uh, stop laughing. Five nights at Buenas. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> laughing? No, that you! I'm talking to my fucking donator! Someone said, they laughed at me and they said Five Nights at Wayne's, which is stupid. I don't know what the... Uh, hold on. I need to move the alerts. I think it's like a, a Freddy's joke? Uh, what is like that? You mean like Freddy Mercury? Been playing, so I've Where's been the chat? I think this is the first you, time you. that we've had a Wayne Radio TV on the screen. This is the Wayne Radio TV. No, yeah. it's not. I did it during Hypnospace, although it was like on a computer, so I don't know if that really counts. That's a uh, Wayne. That's Wayne Radio, Radio Monitor. Theater. That yeah. only counts for you. Yo, they got Polar in the Shadow Realm. Fucking awesome. I don't know why Pegasus left me these drinks, but they're good as fuck. Thanks. Pegasus. Well, lost your soul, but you got some drinks, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh. Wayne a long way. So. Uh, I want to. I still want to talk a little bit before we play our games. Uh, Why? Welcome back, because I love to talk to my chat and I love to talk to my friends. Please, please the, uh... cards. No, I'm not gonna do that. I just had a really stupid idea. Uh, welcome back. This is my first stream in I don't even remember how many days. Whenever we did Buck Bumble, uh, I uh, uh, was that really the last yeah, one? <laughs> yes, it's been. A, it, I've been down and out for a while. Uh, I won't get into the, it won't get into details, but it can be it can be sort of you know listed out as like burnout. I was just, it was just I was just burnt out, yeah. so I took a break, huh? uh, yeah. and now I'm back. And uh, I think the big thing that everybody's thinking about is the gnome stuff. Uh, that is still I still don't have a date for that, but it should be no, it definitely will be before the end of the month. I'm gonna get back on the on the train of working on that on Monday, uh, but stream should be regular again. The break, the break was much needed, but I'm very happy and excited to be back, and now I've got all kinds so of stupid stuff ready way. for you guys. Hope cool you games, bad games, tonight. funny, funny games. Exodia 3. Wet oh, games. Yeah. Wet games, dry games, wet and dry games. Um, but yeah, we're here to play Yu-Gi-Oh! That's fucking uh, So, I told you guys in chat that you would become dueling masters by the end of this stream, and I'm not lying, because I only run the best decks. The best mm -hmm. decks of all time. All my friends are jealous because my decks are so good. You can you can you can look That's up some here. great names in there. You can, you, can, you, you can look up here and see Please all my beautiful deck names and all my beautiful realm. default uh, packs that I have for them. Uh, my not all of these decks are actually playable. Um, the uh, I some of them are not finished yet. Uh, Wayne, uh, Wayne, for example, Wayne, we have I'll go through all my decks. We got Exoiba three. Then Exoiba one. Uh, then we Wait, got three Google... comes before one. Yeah. Then we got <laughs> then we got Google Gaga Epic Robot. Then we got Bamboozle Exodia. Then we got Deck. Then we got Crazy Draw into Wipe. Then we got uh, Your Only Companion is a Screaming Skull. You can't read that whole thing. Then we got Frog. We got Blaster. Uh, time. Ignore that one. Uh, time Deck. Is it really that Time Again Deck? We got Tolka Time, which is a which is a that is a featured deck. That's a top tier deck. Uh, we got opponents deck. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Probably just <laughs> copy somebody's deck. What is, this shit? what is this shit? Oh, this is an Exodia deck. What it's is just this? an Exodia oh, deck. Oh, it's another fucking. Copied. It's it's that's yeah. Uh, we got Treasure Panda one. Pop Quiz, also known as Grandpa's Gambit, the, oh, which is my premier deck. Too. That's my main deck. You know how fucking. Joey Wheeler plays his Red Eyes Black Dragon. Kaiba plays his Blue Eyes. Yugi plays his Celtic Guardian. This is my starter deck. If you buy the Wayne TV starter deck, you get these cards. Time uh, we've, got, oh, we've got Flexodia. We've got Exodia Second to, Chance. Have to play some of that. I'm absolutely playing Flexodia on stream. Are you kidding me? Uh, we've got Grassy Skulls, Tell No Bowls. That's a shit name. What the fuck? Uh, we got Cooked Cock. And we got Pandexonium. Uh, about five of these decks are playable. Uh, most of them are not finished or like. Yeah, you have five up. playable decks, and four of them are gimmick FTKs. I like. <laughs> I feel like the fucking monkey paw curled whenever this game came out. It's like, oh, finally, my friends can enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh like me. But then like of them just what like playing stupid here? gimmick FTK decks and don't actually like playing the real game at all. <laughs> I want a PlayStation One. I play Yu-Gi-Oh in a way. What? 
You won it? Like you, you yeah. did a raffle? Thanks, Bovira. No, it was, a, it was a bid. Yeah. I won a bid. You just award. paid more money. That's barely winning. All right. Bro, congratulations. Use a credit card. Yeah. yeah I, so I just won this car. I paid for it. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm just calling. Somebody, Ask yeah, someone. Hey, you don't know, man. This is this is like gambling, except worse. What? No, See, I, literally not. You're paying money for no, goods and services. I'm gambling on whether or not this person's going to to get their bid in before me. Well, that's not really uh, gamble. I got my fill of inscription. Game of the year 2021, but I'm pretty much done. Um, I I spent about so Master Duel came out whenever I was sick, and I spent just enough time on it to learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh and understand what all the interactions are. And now I don't really play it anymore, and I just watch the uh, the Wayne Radio TV Circus, <laughs> and I get to fully enjoy the the clowns and their custard pies. <laughs> calling the way, calling the way that I play this game a circus is very much true. Um, I, so when I started stream, playing so Yu-Gi-Oh, the very again. first deck I made it's is no longer while, here. So uh, I made a deck with, uh, I don't even think I have the cards anymore. Honestly, I don't he probably think, dusted them. I think I, I think I killed yeah, every single cool. card from my original deck. Uh, this game has a system called Secret Packs, where you can, uh, you, you essentially can, they're, they're just booster packs, but they're like booster packs for specific types of cards that you usually can use to build an archetype to build your deck. Uh, and I opened one called like Chaos of, oh, I think I can actually see it if I click on this. This one, Inevitability of Chaos. I dumped uh, the free gems this game gave me, which uh, is equivalent to like $120 of value into this pack thinking like, oh, I'll just take whatever cards I can get and I'll make a deck by myself without looking up yeah, what I'm cool. supposed to do. Uh, and I did that and I made a Black Luster Soldier Chaos deck with cards like this one here you see on the left. Uh, and I lost every single fucking match and was so just unhappy with my decision to make a deck like, like that that I was like, okay, now. I give in. I, I didn't want a net deck. I didn't want to look up what to do. I just wanted to build my own deck. Uh, but I did net deck. Uh, and instead of making meta decks like Tri Brigade, Eldritch, Lyrilis, Prank Kids, uh, for Hungry Burger, anyway. I decided to for a whole year. chase my childhood dreams, as I'm sure many have, and I made an Exodia deck. And uh, for a while, do, 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 all do, do, I did do, was do, play Exodia deck. All I did was play Exodia. Eldritch is right there. I do have, I I have an Eldritch deck, but it, I, it's not. I not can't play anywhere it. near complete. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't play this. Deck. I, don't, I don't have yeah, like any of the cards. Yeah, just says There's frog one Eldritch on in this it. deck, and I don't have him. It just says frog. Check out this card though. This is a good fucking card. That is a great card. <laughs> I love this guy. There are so a lot of this. This exactly. deck. This deck is gonna kick ass whenever I can finish making it. Look at all these frogs. Look at these frogs. Weren't frogs like broken? Uh, not were, frogs, frogs in are general, pretty good a while ago. This frog. These two toads are totally fucking awesome. Broken. And here's another one. Totally this awesome and stupid. Substitute or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have this deck yet, but one day I will. Um. So yeah, let's, let's play the game. Summon the I wizard, say, please. okay. I think we should start off. What deck should I play first? Uh, should I start yeah. him off with the? With I the, think with we should start with the Exodia. Yeah. Yeah. Start with Exodia. Yeah. The Grandpa's Gambit. Yeah, right, yeah maybe I'm, start with Exodia. Why not? Okay. All right. Exodia is uh, simple to understand. It is. Yeah, Exodia is pretty everybody. easy to understand. We'll ease you in with Grandpa's Gambit before we hit you with. No, we'll ease you in with Exodia before we show you Grandpa's Gambit. And there mm -hmm. is still Grandpa. Grandpa is in this deck. Oh, and you can all learn about Chicken Game. Wayne, That's right. What does Pot of Greed yeah. do? Pot of Greed Green lets you draw two cards. Wayne, Wayne's Wayne is card thrown is... as a player. He no longer thinks it lets you draw three. I know. I know about it now. I know about I it. You it's you. I throw my entire deck at your face. <laughs> I was right all those years ago. Turns right. out that's not what that, it does. That doesn't what it do. It's not that, what it that's does. That's not what it do. But I don't Avatar want to know. Does that. My act today and hoping I did well. It is. That is what Avatar Greed does. Stream. All right. First match of the night. Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, we get to Gears. go first. You have to tell them about the Italian Gears. I Wait, so hold this on. is my friend Gears Giano, uh, and whenever I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm playing rock paper scissors with my pal Gears Giano. Uh, he's Italian and he is a gear, and I believe he races in Formula One or something. Uh, this is a shit starting yeah, ass. All right. All right. We're gonna really start this off. off. Rock paper scissors shoot. Yeah! Fucking easy! Easy! Alright. 
So well, it's time to find out if you won or lose with this well, single one, card. Well, one day of peace allows me to oh, survive at turn. least another turn. Yeah. You get one turn. They can't. They can negate. Wait, if they ash blossom this, will it negate the damage effect? Too? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. they couldn't do it. They're weak. Uh, oh, shit, so now we will. But it's actually big. You can go into the trade in. Oh wait, you're right. I can. I haven't played this deck in a really long time. Uh, so chat. I'm gonna try and talk in a way that lets people who don't know shit about Yu-Gi-Oh, like, process what's going on. So, the win condition of this deck is to get all five pieces of Exodia. You know, you know Exodia. I think everybody on Earth knows Exodia. That There's simple. someone in chat that wow, doesn't know what Exodia is. I'm, I bet there is. And don't lie. Don't lie. At least I'm, I'm sure every- I'm sure everybody. everybody is at least, like, familiar with Obliterate. People. There are some people who don't- Exodia is a big That's fucking guy. He's a golem. And he blows you up. And he is uh, one of the only unstoppable win conditions in the game. If totally get... ash blossoming your fucking trade in, by the no, way. No, he's not gonna do it. No, he's not. It's a, <laughs> no it's way a... it's not gonna happen. Okay. Fuck. Alright, well, let's just find out. As someone who started watching you after HLVR, match one scoop. To watch old VODs where you have oh, it, it's song. gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Yeah. What else? What else would they have? Girl. Don't show me that little girl. I do. I, I would like. Oh, there it is. It's not All Ash right. Blossom. It's not Ash Blossom. Time for the okay. Maxi Challenge. So the I just goal... want to take note of something that I saw. Uh, Eldritch is tripping off the chat filter. <laughs> Yeah, so Weaker oh, added, uh, yeah, yeah, added Eldlich to the banned term, so <laughs> no, I guess don't no, ever no. say you it. Can, un un unban, unban that. Eldlich is an important part of the game. You have to understand Weaker, it. Weaker gets mod of the year because they took the initiative to ban the terms. I play Eldlich. This is so Eldritch risky. Is this fun. is so risky. Chicken game. This is good. This Chicken is good. Game. Chicken game. It's good, but you did fuck, you kind of fucked stream, yourself with Into the Void, I feel like. Oh! 20 more months. All right. it, this is okay. All you have to do is draw a blue eyes or a tuner or whatever the fuck that card or, is called. Just or win. upstart goblin. There's tons of cards we could get that would be that would be totally fine. Uh, if so you keep streaming, if you keep streaming, you you, know, you need a chicken game emote. <laughs> Magical mallet. All right, get another chance at anything usable. Yeah, I gotta throw both these. I guess back you get a library too. A smile. Yes, I do. I do. Have, I do have a spell counter. Fuck. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna throw Whatever. It That's GG. There's, there's not, right. no, there's it's not, not GG. a piece in there, though, so it's fine. It's not GG. It's not GG at all. All right, so chat, let me talk a little bit about what just happened there. The, the, the point of an Exodia deck is to draw all your cards in one turn. It doesn't always happen. Why are you Cypher Oh, they're gambling your fucking egg. The Cypher does that? Bitch. Wait, the egg? He's not doing it to the... What? Bro, I'm gonna get that blue eyes anyways. Fuck you, dude. I hope it's the next card you pull. So we're trying to draw five pieces well, of Exodia. Now you have time to explain while this person does their 15 minute turn. So. We're trying to draw five pieces of Exodia, ideally in one turn. Run we did talk. not do it in one turn. Uh, so now we're gonna try to do it in two turns. Uh, I have two cards on the field right now. Royal Magical Library allows me to draw cards every time I play three spells, right? It's so time to the whole point of the deck do 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 is do do like you are you essentially are mostly flushing through spells to charge your Royal Magical Library and draw cards. Um, however, sometimes you'll get monsters like we got two knives, nice white dragon. We'll never play him ever. Uh, he is merely fodder for a card called Trade In that lets us draw two cards. Um, we have like regular blue eyes in our deck. We've got these eggs in our deck. However, this motherfucker uh, deactivated my egg with a psychic robot, so that sucks. That's hey, when that fucking, happens. fucking light sworn? What is yeah. it? Two thousand and nine? I don't know. I go up against light sworns fairly frequently, honestly. No, yeah. he got he pulled the grass too. You're fucked. What did but he do? You're always being no, yeah, he, he actually oh, resolved he, he the, the grass. That grass looks greener, greener than me. Yeah. yeah. In one spin, Does Lightsworn in Light one wants spin, that? In one spin, yeah, yeah Lightsworn Light strategy is a, is a self-mill strategy with a bunch of graveyard effects. Okay, well, so I use one as much shit in the graveyard as possible. I yeah, use you're one fine for a piece, turn. so he can't even hurt me. So we you are going to lose your library. Chat, we played a card in our last turn. Uh, our, our first card we actually was called One Day for Peace, which, cards, which let us draw one, and it makes it so we cards. can't take damage until after the opponent's turn. So, I'm invincible right now, right? 
So you don't even have to worry about what this person is doing. We're essentially just waiting. In fact, let's play some rock, paper, scissors with Giorgiano. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you read that article that um, Polly posted earlier today? Yes. About like, about like the fucked up Mr. Wayne, elemental hero Stratos one, thing. One. Yeah, no, I did. Yu-Gi-Oh is a cartoon card game, like all the way down from like every possible angle. Like, Ooh. the thing that I'm talking I'm about sorry. is. There was a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament in 2007 where a promotional card that came with Shonen Jump magazine somehow got, like, distributed to, like, 20 people two months early. And they came to the tournament with a set of three of them, and it... And they it just won. destroyed everything. It was such yeah, a yeah, good card at the time. Old enough to drink. What card? Uh, Elemental, Elemental Hero, Hero Stratos. Stratos. Right. Which is not a very good card anymore. It's an yeah, okay weird. card now, but at the time it was really good to the point where it got banned and limited Isn't for Isn't that long just time. the one that lets you draw or destroy a spell or something? It lets you pop a back row or it lets you search for a, a hero. hero monster. Yeah. On like, normal no, summon, no, which is like such a... It's like hard. a nothing effect nowadays. It's funny to yeah, think about. Yeah, that's fucking weird. That's such like a normal ass monster. Yeah. Uh, so someone in chat, uh, buy one get one free air fryer said, how do you even defeat this many monsters? Doing Which is a very quaint thing for someone <laughs> to say. Uh, you know, that's a good point. What you are seeing how on the other side of the field, what, what you are seeing on Kay's side of the field right now is a normal Yu-Gi-Oh turn. In fact, I would say this is a, uh, this is like a subpar Yu-Gi-Oh turn. Yeah, I mean, that's not even good. Got, got it's okay. Out. Yeah, like he's, he's doing it. fine. Must protect uh, it. This game is like 99% lost already. There's like, yeah. there's a very low chance that we win this because he, this guy's I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and say there's library. no way that you win at this point, but if, you never know. I'm trying to think, what is a card I could draw that Here's would Here's what me happened. Win? You draw chicken game and they don't read it and you get an extra turn. We I haven't even talked about what chicken game is. Economy built That's, we, 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 we can, we can wait else. for chicken game. <laughs> Ty Tuesday says the cool thing about Yu-Gi-Oh is sometimes you're just dead, and that's how it is. So yeah. that, it could be a cool thing, it could be a not so cool thing. Um, in this case, I Thank fucked up. I probably would have a chance if I didn't play this card. This card, Into the Void, is a card that lets you draw one, but you for like if your turn ends, years. you have to throw every card in your hand into the graveyard, which is exactly what I did. So now I have nothing, and I essentially have to rely on whatever the next card I draw being perfect. What? Why are you? Wayne, do you oh wait, you can't take damage. Cards? That's right. You played one yeah. game. For yeah, you can't kill me. This guy's turn is. I'm probably yeah, gonna guy, this because Okay, so this is what happens. They probably uh, forgot at this point that one day for peace is active. They are probably trying to OTK to you and definitely didn't remember that that card was played that makes it so that you can't get OTK. OTK. I'm calling think... it one day for peace. It's one day of peace. What? One day for peace is <laughs> One day, one day, one day for chat. Whatever. Borlode Savage what Dragon, he's gonna equip it. Oh wait, no, Borlode is a negator. Oh no, yeah. I'm done, bye. What? Wait, what? I do not see a Borlo's just gonna negate I mean, all my true. spells! He, okay, it's, okay. Like it's true. Like it was right, because th 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 that was that. two negations. There was no way you were gonna be able to play. Yeah, that. we're not getting past Morlo. Uh I, I love all the people who don't know how Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, people are gonna This is gonna be a break way. next stream, okay? You gotta get used to it. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you are not gonna understand- If you don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh! is, you're not gonna understand every duel as you see it. Information is gonna trickle into your brain. That's how yeah, it works. Yeah, we'll explain the- Important uh, yes, parts. Malzware, that was that was only two turns and the second one didn't resolve. It didn't finish. What, what I love about streaming Yu-Gi-Oh! is it's somehow like the fastest game. <laughs> Seven more eleven. And yet the, the slow. Okay. Okay. And the slow well, yeah, it's, it's, you it's you see Drytron you scoop here in this <laughs> oh, no, in, in RTBS, you see Drytron and you give up. You know, now done. you have so to explain why you lost there. So this is where we're gonna fucking Drytron. And to put it simply, if you go second, you can't win. Oh, so yeah, time. Drytron is a deck type in Yu-Gi-Oh! where in the Master Duel client, uh, <laughs> Some banned cards are illegal. This is well played, Wayne. Yeah, I... I, I Seven years go on, Log. Yeah, it, so oh. in, in the real life game, Drytron has multiple cards that right. are banned and you're not allowed to use them. 
Uh, they are not banned or restricted in any way nope, in Master they Duel. And so if they go first, no, they, they end in a state where you literally can't do anything because they can stop anything that you try to do by discarding a card. And they will have at least five cards in their hand. All right, so this time around, uh, we have begun what is probably a victory. Uh, Exodia is in our grasp. Holy shit, Exodia is in our they grasp. They don't have what any hand fuck? traps, which is really sure. good. No hand and... traps, and I managed to luck out and get that white stone of beauty and the fucking cards of consonants and trade-ins and Ooh, chicken, chicken game, game and pseudo space. Right. We got a leg. We got a leg. Right. I'm sending So in that last game where I surrendered against Drytrons, Drytrons are uh, the most annoying deck to play against in the game. I have a policy. If you play Drytron, you win. I'm just going to not. Yeah. I'm just going to go on to the Good next luck. game. You're a uh, bitch. 21. The, uh, so uh, in that last game as well, someone was like yelling in chat. Ah, we did. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Exodia victory. What you're doing. Hell yeah. <laughs> you see Exodia, you scoop. It's you simple. See? Easy wins, easy wins, easy wins. What happened? We won. Chat. Simple as that. Don't worry about it. Chat, uh, chat, eleven chat. Months. Love way. This is what Yu-Gi-Oh is like. This is what this it's game is not. This is, do not tell people this is what Yu-Gi-Oh is like. This is not how the game is supposed to this be. Is how master this is how Master Duelists play. This is how Master Duelists play. This is how Master Duelists play. Master Duel is the, the wild. It, master Duel is the Wild West, and it doesn't follow like any current Long ban time. list. Like people say, it's supposed to be based off of a Japanese ban list from a, like a year or two ago. And but just the, the results of that, the, the results of whatever they've done is that like no, every uh, degenerate uh, strategy that you can think of is legal. Uh, chicken game, you'll figure out like the full extent of what chicken game can do <sighs> no eventually. But yeah, that's not a card that you're supposed to be allowed to play at all. And you will, yeah, you can play three copies of it and it's incredibly so strong. I want to, I, w I think I've, I've got a pretty good analogy for this, for, for like how you are playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Think Both of the game of day. basketball. Wayne is doing the equivalent of standing of on the other side of the court and Sit trying to shoot three pointers TV. every time <laughs> and then giving up if he misses a single one. So my yeah. friend, that is the, while, while the other person is trying to play basketball, he is playing his own game on the game other side six, of the court the that does not involve the other NGA player whatsoever. This card, this card is our friend Chicken Game. Like chocolate. Chicken Game that allows us to pay 1,000 life GIO. points to draw one card. We have three copies of Chicken Game and three copies of a card that allows us to copy to Chicken Game your stream. and duplicate its effects. But Chicken Game has a sleeper effect. Everyone know. Which is only demonstrated in some games and relies entirely on the enemy's inability to read your cards. Which, which, which if you can believe it, in Yu Gi Oh! People not which reading cards is a lot. very common occurrence. It happens yeah, all the time. Chance. Yeah, what is the so you it's. Card? It's a constant thing, and also, like, any, like, persistent effects that are going on are not displayed in any form. No. In the UI is bad. Okay. Good at you, Gio. Okay. It could be better. Alright, we can manage, we can manage, we can manage. I... You know, I, you know, you know, I won a game in plat today because someone didn't read my cards. We got two of our friend the goblin, hey, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Upstart goblin allows me to draw one card. In case you can't tell. Uh, so, really? something something I wanted to point out earlier is in the match with Drytron where I scooped, uh, I someone yelled, why did you surrender? You had two pieces of Exodia. That is a bad thing. You <laughs> yeah, that's actually want... not good. Whoa, you're so... yeah, 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 so scooping about. all over the place. Free wins. <laughs> they're, they're giving up easy tonight. Yeah. What the fuck? We should start, we should start doing a... Uh, Hey, how do you do channel point betting? We should do that. Hey, Mod, uh, Mod. It's it's You're a Mod. Do a prediction Wayne, fast, win or lose. The theme song if you haven't already. Profit, Got like four seconds before the game starts. Profit just, Profit just donated to hey, me and asked, and asked Wayne, please sing the Yu-Gi-Oh theme song if you haven't already. The Yu-Gi-Oh theme song doesn't have any lyrics. It has it's one. It's time to do 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 And also, your move, your move, your move, your move. Oh, uh oh. Time to do a wing. This is actually not that bad. Uh, now, if we get Ash Blossomed, Please, they do not have any hand there. traps. As a Shut as up. someone who I plays don't. Magic the Gathering, as someone who used to play a lot of Magic the Gathering, I want to say 
nothing comes close to being as cool as Exodia. Exodia is like still such a raw fucking yes. concept. Uh-huh. Like it's so cool to be mean? like it's a, it, it it's like it needs it's a, you're only allowed one copy of each of the five Exodia cards in your deck, and if you and if you. Like can get them into your hand, you win. To, as you say, yes, 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 yes. Like, like, this is know. good. This is good. This is no good. No responses. Purely state based. As soon as the cards hit your hand, you just win. Yeah, you show your opponent, and you're like, and you walk away. And you're gonna see. Look what I have. Exodia is not a is not a, like a rare thing. Exodia happens a lot. Exodia will happen. Yeah, I would say it's definitely said, under a 50% win rate, but it's not like <laughs> super low. Oh, Grandpa! First Grandpa of the night! This is a special match. Seen Grandpa before. I want everyone okay. in the chat to say hello to Grandpa. Say hello, not Grandpa. Not Mira, just Grandpa. Hello, everyone. This is my grandfather, Ancha Mufrit. Uh, hello, Ancha, everyone. Ancha Mufrit is featured in any deck where I can have him. Uh, Ancha Mufrit, can you chat? Can you guess what Ancha Mufrit does? Look at all this text. Can you guess what Ancha Mufrit does without reading it? Ancha Mufrit allows matter. us to draw one card and explode. <laughs> he blows he up. He dies for it. Much like we Chicken have to Game. We sacrifice oh, Grandpa, please. okay? Much like Chicken Game, Grandpa also has some secret functionality that I don't know if we'll see tonight. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. <laughs> I hope we do. Oh, oh my god, god. they're they scoop in a row! People have gotten too used to Exodia now. What the heck? People are just like... People are scooping all over the place. It, it's it's really funny because they shouldn't be scooping because it's like a 50-50 chance. Exactly, they're just getting bored. They could get a free win. To be fair, I'm playing a little slow compared to what I normally do because I'm streaming. Like, right, I'm talking but you know what I do? I just get up and go get a... Like a, a glass of water, I and I come yeah, back, and my squin my screen either says win or lose. <laughs> yeah, but here's yeah. the thing, Val. It's 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 good it clearly makes sense but we're to scoop against Exodia players because it robs them of the extra points you get from winning by Exodia. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I lose out. True. I lose out on my fucking flame dancer card and my red frog card. Oh yeah, no. the yeah. points don't really. Uh, 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 what will I do colors. without my unhappy girl? Wait, what is your wallet like? Live you can live pull twin. good things from fucking like it's, tickets. Uh, live twins are a sad yeah, archetype. They're kind of like half implemented in this version of the game. They're totally missing their Wait, boss missing monster, their but people play them what? anyway. Yeah, yeah like, they don't have the all actual, their cards. Like the strong, yeah, the strongest live twin I card came twins. out in a set that came out after like what is supported in Master Duel. Yeah, so sad. they have the live other, twin I, players I have to wait. They're. You know how like this game's about like dragons Box and wizards and like demons? There's like Fuck. they just jumped the shark and now now there's like VTubers and like. If you really they... want to show everyone you're a degenerate, you run this one. No, you He's run all of them. Yeah, yeah, no. I would, just, I, would I would rather play against 900 lives. Also, Gary, you're being very rude. Level. There's literally a VTuber in our call. I know. Yeah. Come on. Bitch. Bitch ass. If you, if you, if you people start <laughs> well, infighting, if you I start drama, so I'm gonna have to beat everybody up. Even people, I'm gonna have to beat Scorpio up for no reason. I'm gonna have some creative differences here. <laughs> Wait, Wait, you thanks for the raid. That alert just You're popped up. <laughs> You're what do you mean? That was like 10 minutes ago. That was. Listen, this is what happens when you don't stream for like two weeks. The shit backs up. The, the, plumbing, the plumbing gets, the toilet gets clogged. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, someone in chat said, didn't Bob say? RTVS needs needed drama. I yeah, this is the drama oh, I want. Yeah, oh, we're right. it. another free win, so, baby. So the sometimes channel I'm point thing explain. couldn't even go through. I have to we we I have to explain. Uh, sometimes your opponent doesn't read their cards and you win. Yeah. Automob <laughs> just held that guy's message for saying Slam looks like cards. girl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you Bro. know what? Hey, watch your fucking mouth. Those cards might be girls. Please. You don't know. We don't Please. we just don't know. <laughs> Good luck on Hey, hey now! Look at all these people swearing. Hashtag girl. Oh, that's a <laughs> shit starting hand. Oh, it's got yeah, a that's, trade in and a tune. Not mallet. Yeah, I would but honestly having just mallet in, the whole thing. Like, having tune in your starting hand oh, kills your TTSEs. Kind of yeah, I mean, it just mount the whole thing. It kills one of them. It kills them, one. Right? Like, that's fine. Well, okay, you also run fucking DWD. That card yes. sucks. Yes. All right, Ooh, you Chiyo. love to see the turn one. The set that pass! Won. The set pass. That's pretty yeah, good for yeah, us. You know what? You know what? Touche. 
I love you singing the what? Yu -Gi -Oh theme song while trying to explain how I'll Were you hoping the that they -Oh needed you to put song. a card down? I'll wait for more cards. No, I'm I'm hoping that they're that they suck even more than they already do. And they just and I get away with not doing anything. Okay. All right. Oh let's God. see their let's see their strategy. Can you mouse over their deck for a second? How many cards are with? Are 52. They it's a big. It's All a right. Fat they are working on a 60 card deck. A card I've never seen before. TG Rush Rhino. What the fuck is this? <laughs> You're yeah, running a TG deck? TG deck. TG deck. Ah, they've got werewolves! No, it's a werewolf! Well, you, ah. well, you shouldn't have passed because, games, because they might be able to OTK you now, but, no. you know. No way! Look at that! They're oh, swinging for 1,600! Wait, they activated an effect! What was that? Oh, it boosted his effect to 2,000! Oh, dear God! Alright! 2,000! Alright! You see, it was worth the wait! It was worth the wait! That's the heart of the cards in play, bitches! That's the heart of the that cards. Was actually, kind of for the right play. You should still magical mallet. Yeah, I yeah think I'm gonna mallet, mallet my one of my dark world dealings and the pseudo space because those don't do Not anything. The dragon? No, nope, so I'm gonna trade, trade in the dragon. Why? No, Mira, that doesn't make any sense. Like, why would I not use the trade-in guaranteed on the dragon instead of waiting to just draw that card into my deck later to keep one of my spells relevant? Like, yeah, I've got TTOC now, but guess what? TTOC still lets me fuel the library. Yes, I told you, baby! That's all it Oh my god! <laughs> okay, for the people at home, we have been watching Wayne play his stupid FTK decks like since this game came out, I have never seen this many no, people this is, in a row. This is this is, this is new. We're on a five-win streak. Streamers right, gotta, love. Hey, honestly, this I've, is some I, bullshit. Wait, wait, like wait. we've seen more people oh, surrender to Exodia here than I've seen total since we yeah, started playing. Yeah, like this. I've never yeah. seen this many people just scoop. Oh, hey, use the emote. We got, no, we it's got not time for the emote. Yeah, it's not no time. He's got to win. Oh, no, right. get it Question, why is Wayne in a TV? Play Maximilian Pegasus in his stupid tournament. Wow. Uh -oh. hey, what's the, what's the Flexodia? No. Not until the win streak ends. Somebody in the ch in the chat asked what got, FTK means. I have to get Exodia means. first. First turn FTK kill. FTK means first turn kill. So it means that you win before the other player even gets a chance to play. They literally don't get their turn yet. And you've already won. Play with your I don't have all the cards. I, I don't know how... I don't know how, like, serious Ooh. I'll take this game anyway, once, like, the excitement dies like, Grandpa, oh, Grandpa, we need your luck! I, I don't know how seriously I'll take this game, like, in the coming oh, yeah. weeks, when the ex hype yeah, dies right. down, but, yeah, but what I, I will know. say is, Yu-Gi-Oh! has my eternal right, we'll, respect. We'll risk it. We'll risk it. Has my eternal respect for being a game so brutal that you could load into a match and just watch your opponent fiddle around for, like, five minutes and lose. And not and not get a chance to do a single thing. Yeah, it might be effect failure. I have no, no it didn't, it didn't it didn't activate when I played Anjum Move Read. It only activated when I set my I library. Into the I have um, no think? respect for people who run meta like FTK decks and they're not even yeah, like funny. Meta FTK, FTK, yeah. meta FTK no, decks does yeah, not bro. exist. <laughs> uh, let me let me rephrase that. I know what you mean. A meta gosh, deck that sets a game winning yeah a like winning board state turn one. I went so on the internet and looked scoop, up scoop, best scoop, deck scoop, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Scoop, 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 scoop. I don't respect game. that. Scoop, 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 if you do it in a way that's really I mean, funny scoop, and scoop. stupid, I, I respect like, it. But. I feel like the Master Duel meta isn't even that bad right now. Like, you have a few there's, outliers bad, in but there's Eldritch a few that are being just... unfun. There's Eldritch being unfun to play against, and there's Drytron yeah. being bullshit, and ah, kind GG's. of new Tri Brigade. Ah. That's all it takes. <laughs> what happened? He played Effect Veiler. <laughs> oh, bad. <laughs> So, uh, uh but it. honestly, other than those, I feel like there are a lot of super playable. Like, I feel like the meta in Master Duel is like way more hey, wide than like <laughs> when I last played the TCG, which was Pixel a while ago, to be fair. But people Pixel are scum, Pixel Scum You're... in chat said, Learn to make your own decks, to be honest. Sonic no, VODs and uh, just you can do that later. <laughs> Don't be. Listen, I, I came into this game. I, I played MTG remote. Arena when that launched, like, years ago. And I wanted to get through it when without having to look up Nero decks and make them. I wanted to make my own deck. But as soon as I got to that point, it just, like, I, I hated it. I hated making my own deck and I hated net decking. So I said, fuck it. I jumped into Yu Gi Oh! Wanted to make my own deck. 
It was fucking terrible. The deck I came out with was more frustrating than any experience yes. of like trying to deal with net decking and if bullshit you... ever would be. You need to net deck. You can make variations on it, but like you need to figure out, especially in Yu-Gi-Oh, what the fuck is going on. You with need the a guide yeah. first before you hey, can start. You do. Your you own need to shit. understand how the game works. Which... Yeah, your your best way to play any of these games is to, to just like look at a lot of things for reference and then like insert your own <laughs> it's um, Pegasus. findings. It's basically. Pegasus. Please subscribe. <laughs> oh, it is. Oh shit! It's fucking tunes. I draw Pog of Greed, which allows. If me I to win this, I get to get out of the TV. There's no way. There's n here's the. I, as someone who's been playing, as someone who's played Magic, the I, I've stopped recently. But as someone who's played Magic, like card games for years, played Magic: The Gathering for years, a you're not gonna know what a good deck looks like until you've seen good decks, nice. and the way you do that is you net deck. And two, the brutal honest truth is that even when you start constructing your own decks, odds are, within like the format or whatever, there is nice. a version of the deck that you make, but better. And if you're trying to win, you should just play the deck version of your deck, but that's better. <laughs> is he, someone said, is he just running Tune Book for Death Thinning? Yes, that is literally, it exists for that purpose and also to give you spell counters on your Royal Magical Library. The, and that the, is and to give you the, the blue eyes, blue blue eyes for the trade in. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you got the Jordans. <laughs> yeah. Nice legs. I love when the cards are in the right order. That's great. All right, two into the voids, pretty good. So now by playing into the void, I fully committed. If I can't win on this turn, I lose because my Jordans will go Easy straight point. to the graveyard. Can't have that. You can't have that. And it looks like that might happen if I don't get lucky on this Trade next in draw. right now. Okay, uh, all right, ooh, we're good, we're good, good, we're good. That's actually very wow, good. Saved by the... Nice, you got saved. Yeah, that's really good. All right, we're going to keep everything but uh, the I Jordans. Think you got no, I, I, keep... I, I think you so just pull everything. Everything, everything. Like, everything. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think you just do it. Okay, all keep right. the white stone, keep the white stone, because that'll get you a dragon. Yeah, but I, I already played one card's of consonants. It's, it's Not all of them, all of them, ditch all of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say just go for broke. All right. And you got to run back. Grandpa. Grandpa's here. Hell yeah. Oof, the one day of peace. One day for Chad. This is, I don't you like know, letting the other guy draw. It's, it's fine. This guy's it's running totally fine. It's, fine. It's, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's rare that. I... Watch out. They're going to use a collapsible grabber and steal your library. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm getting a little scared. We're drawing lots of monsters that we don't want. Yeah. You've, you've gone a Grandpa bit Grandpa will let us draw a card. You have a leather mallet, though, don't you? Yeah. What did you just call it? A mallet. A, a leather mallet? A no, another mallet. mallet. Oh, you gotta mallet. Have another oh mallet. I was confused. Okay. Yes, you were. I we have another chicken game in our graveyard. I, I think you did. Pseudo space. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. After getting the cards of consonants, I'm fucking set. The uh, yeah, cards of consonants upon really duality oh. means I'll be able to do exactly what I want. Thank you, shit-faced. Crazy Chicken games. Chad, I think you're going to see it. Yo, get yo, get the war war got the most up. This guy hasn't scooped yet. Yeah. We had the Jordans, now we got the gloves. I think we're gonna see it happen. Oh, oh. Ooh. three out of five. Ooh. Catch a dragon. And giving me my dragon. Warm those emotes up, chat. We're really close here. It would be quite unlikely to lose at this point. Oh, <laughs> just oh, one more. No. Uh -oh. All right, okay, well, we got a card mallet, with I guess. The top three? Is Exodia in there? No, he's not. Fuck. Oh. He's going to be on the dealings very bottom. Dark World Dealings, yeah, Dark World Dealings libraries? is going to let me discard one of my libraries, which is useless, and it's going to give us another draw in the Royal Magical Library. We are only missing the head, folks. It's going to be like the last one. It's gonna, it, th this thing's on the bottom. Oh, you're going to so. miss No, they're just no, discarding. They're, they're just, just discarding their, their car. car. It's fine. I, that always trips me up. It's definitely the thing, though. It's gonna be the literal last. Five more cards left. Five more cards left, chat. Exodia's on the way. literally on the bottom, dude. Hey, hey, hey. Hit the mallet. No. Hit the mallet. See if you get him, pussy. It's literally on the bottom. literally on the bottom. Hit the mallet. There's two cards left. It takes longer. No. Hit the mallet. No. Pussy. It's literally the last card. It's literally the last card. Get ready, chat. Get ready. Warm those emotes up. <laughs> oh, now that—that's the disrespect no! right there. <laughs> Are you gonna do it again? Come on! 
Let's see him. Really <laughs> milking it. <laughs> really <laughs> milking it. <laughs> really milking it. If you don't it. finish it, he's gonna fucking scoop. Woo! There we go. There he is. There's our boy, Exodia. What? What? Oh, he's picking his card. He's picking his card. Exodia. Obliterate. Obliterate! Ah! <laughs> Fuck yeah. There he is, folks. Do you, have a, do you have the clip that we talked about? No, that's for the next that's for whenever the big event happens. Oh, whenever okay. we end up doing that. Uh and chat, oh, you're, for, you're for, for our fantastic team, for our skillful, fantastic duel, we have skillful. earned six passes. You know what passes gets us? Let's go open our passes. We're we gonna get oh, oh, goody. We um, might get some good treats here. Oh goody. Let's go to the shop and spend our passes. Our bonus. This our is gonna be. Pack. This is like going. This is like going to grandma's and reaching into the candy bowl. All right, folks. Let's see what our prize is for our. What fifteen-year-old candy are you pulling out? I can't We're wait to get. Whoa! Time. Whoa! Holy shit, this is Whoa! gonna take forever. No, oh, just, it's a Necco wafer. Whoa! Golden pack. What I get? Oh! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Fuck yeah! Thank you, nice. Konami. And Super Hell Junior yeah. Confrontation! <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, what, did, what does this even do? Negate the battle. One monster with the lowest attack and face up in that attack position your opponent controls against one monster with the lowest defense you control. At, okay. That's fine. What the fuck? All right, let's see what we got. We got a we got an ultra rare digital bug rhinocephus. Hmm. Kind of cool. <laughs> Pretty uh, sure that comes in a, a lot of text. Probably. Uh, we got shield worm, baby. That's a worm. Oh, nice. We did get a worm. We got a worm. Uh, we got a fairy dragon. We got two Wait, worms. A... Hack worm. Hack worm. What's two that worms, fusion baby. substitution you got? Thank you, Sucklet. Huh? Fusion what? Oh, this is a classic card. Yeah. You ever had a fusion You know that hack worm card doesn't even I've seem literally... that bad. That's like a pretty I'm... decent card. I'm thing? not kidding. It's just I'm a pretty not... special summon. I'm not <laughs> kidding. Not I have... Once per turn. I have worm. defusion. I have refusion. I don't have polymerization. Look at this. Po That's polymerization. Great. Look at this guy. I like this guy. Wait, you got a dragon deck staple? What? What? What are you talking about? Which one? Half oh, worm? the, uh, is it the, it, I think it's the guard dragon next yeah, to the, the worm. Dragon. Yeah. Next to what worm? No, no, no. The little blue thing next this to the worm. This guy? The world yeah, challenge guard guy. dragon? Oh, he's the yeah. mate. That's the little, yeah. that's the little yeah. dog that rolls the, rolls the ball. It's cute. Yeah. Thank you, Inverted, for the dragon, bucks. not a dog. Look at the typing. When they have room for flavor text. If, there's, if there's flavor text on a Yu-Gi-Oh card, it is bad. It is. Wait, what's that? Hearts of the Clear what Water. Great. What are you talking each about? Each player shuffles their deck, then each player draws one card, then each player discards one card. That is stupid. Show me that. that show me that Heart of the Clear Water. Heart of the. Oh, that's cool. That's heart. the fucking hot sauce from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, it's bad. Red medicine. Hell yeah, there's another card called Oh, what Blue a great medicine. card. Red medicine. It's good. It's All right, good. well, you can have more packs to open. We got more packs, baby. Oh, fuck oh fuck yeah, we yeah, got more cards. For, for right. context, there, for context, this is trash. I don't know why it does this. They give you, like, tickets to open these booster packs. Oh shit, wait. And they're all trash. Drill bug. Is that cocoon uh, the thing you Benagon. need for the... What the hell no, is this? Not. With an enormous okay. maw and massive teeth, this monstrosity is one dangerous and anime, strange serpent please from keep the Please watching the latest yes, series. Yes, they yes, just what a good card. Getting more and more wild. Oh, we can't do that. We can't. We're, we're not going to watch all the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. We are we're just watching the original. I cannot watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX and Sevens and bikes and toys and brains and, cars and, and brains and uh, at and best bronies. we would watch gx in i'm not watching but that's i, watch it. I, I, wanna, I just want to see yugi moto and his cool friends yeah I, I checked out as a kid after they took yugi sorry off the show. we're boomers we all Fair. we care about is i would watch season zero i would do that uh, i would watch season zero as well geez. that's all on youtube as far as i know come on come on all right we got one more 10 pack Fuck yes. Thanks, you can Sartango. actually, you actually can pull like some decent cards from this. Yeah. Yeah. It's very right. Love Joey Wheeler. It's ninety percent trash, but there's like a little bit that is like somewhat useful. Destroy all face-up machine-type monsters on the field. Huh. Too, that's very specific. All right, we got a Gem Knight Ruby. Oh, you got a <gasps> we got a thousand dragon. Thousand oh, nice. dragon. Joey Wheeler. Time wizard and baby dragon. 
I think I already had one of these. Uh, no, no, I didn't. Great. It says new. No, you didn't. We oh, got ultimate What's that? insect level five. Fuck yeah. Fuck ultimate yeah. insect. Fuck yeah. What's that time dude escaper? right square in the middle with his like hands out? This guy, time escaper. No, in the middle. Uh, this dude. Yeah. Armor.exe. Yeah. Or no, it's just Armor X. Uh, armor. <laughs> armor. Exe. Hey, there's cards like that. There's all there kinds of cards computer like cards. Enough. There's yeah. all kinds of computer cards. Uh, dark coffin. What does this do? It's when like dark cup, but is bigger. Destroyed. Your opponent selects and executes one of the following effects: discard one random card from their hand, select one monster on their side of the field, and destroy it. That's bad. Gotta love these garbage cards. Fuck yeah! Look at this dude. What's Mon's that thing turtle. next to Monster Turtle? Monster. Eight hundred attack. He's so powerful. <laughs> next to him, Lala Lala Leon. I feel like I remember a, this one. It's just a cloud. No, it's uh, a sh shitty fucking. Bro, oh, I have -Oh, that samurai -Oh card. Master, yu gi -Oh has over ten thousand cards that have been made. Uh, yu gi -Oh Master Duel has over seven thousand cards. Uh, I I bet there are at least three four thousand Yu Gi Oh cards that are useless. Oh, and I then, see a yeah, goblin in that extra sure. buck that's card. A good, that's a good estimate. Check out Yeah, Barox. I think probably so. Barox is a fusion monster, which means you need three cards oh, to that's a two of them dog being specific shit monsters card. and one of them being a specific one. spell. And he 13 attack. Exodia's tool is a magnetic shit. shield. What the this fuck were they thinking in early Yu-Gi-Oh? That wasn't even good at any point in the game. That was no. never good. Always bad. I can play this motherfucker. Hold on. So you, so that guy needs three cards. He played. He had 1380 attack. I want to show you one of my favorite cards, chat. You gonna show him Gustav? No, I'm showing them Berserk Gorilla. Oh hell yeah! Berserk Gorilla can be played for free, on his own. 2000 attack. Why the fuck would you ever play, fucking Barox or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay. So now, uh. Someone, somebody asked when we played our first few Exodia matches where I just won instantly and they went super fucking fast. Someone asked, does Yu-Gi-Oh ever have a late game? Yeah, let me show you. I'm gonna play my cooked um, cock oh deck. Oh my god, are you gonna play <laughs> cooked cook? All right, strap in everybody. All right. Well, to be fair, these can also end very quickly. It just is- Sad Kitten YouTube says, what's the worst card in the game? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I mean like most, most normal Oops. monsters are all tied for worse than the game. Maybe, well, no, uh, have, maybe, maybe Wall Shadow. There has to be cards in the game. Like, okay, a normal monster with bad stats is bad because it doesn't do anything. But there are definitely cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that if you play them, they help your opponent more than you. You know? Oh yeah. Like, oh, uh, look up the card named Oops. Yeah, Oops that's what I said. Oops. Mark. <laughs> Oops is the worst really? one. Really? I'll look it up. I've never heard you of know that. oops. Are you gonna explain what? this deck? What does oops do? Uh, no, I will. I just I just had to make sure something happened. Uh, the uh, effect for oops is target one card you control, destroy it. Now, here's the thing. There's actually a lot of effects that activate on card destruction, so that can't be the worst. Yeah, that still I has guess. Oops. That's true. Pretty much fish, any card in the game that lets your opponent draw cards is probably tied for the worst. Most powerful deck. Buzzsaw Shark in attack mode. Do you care to explain Activate how the, the effect of works? Buzzsaw Mine Shark. Nothing. Target Buzzsaw Shark. Targeting right right hand shark in my deck. I special summon Cook Cock the Crooked Cook in defense mode. <laughs> That's not his name. That's not his name. I have won. <laughs> the game is now turn. over. If everything goes according to plan, chat, that's the only move I'm ever going to make. Oh, that's right. It's this deck. <laughs> it's this deck. All right. If you've watched you... Mira, you know what this deck does yeah, already. I was going to say, if you watch Mira, Mira was the first of us to do this. She made an alternate account, and she got to put the Sim whole deck together. Simpleton and... says instant kaiju. <laughs> Yeah. It's so true. if you don't this know, this is not an instant win. No, I don't. I don't want to explain it. I oh, want to see don't if this person. It? Okay. Wait. Wait. We'll wait. just sit here then. This person's playing Pendulum Magician, so maybe uh, we, we're gonna be here. Well, a while. that just means that their turn to is gonna take to a while. Point yeah. Normal pendulums with this card, Hunter, Crooked Cook, Eldritch players do not is a very bullshit. crooked cook. It's not bullshit. It's just stupid. No, like, it's not bullshit. There's like a hundred ways to beat it. It's there are there are many ways to defeat the Crooked Cook. 
The Crooked Cook's primary ability is that when he is the only card on the field, he is unaffected by all other card effects. Any card that is on the field cannot affect this chef. It, it doesn't affect him. Nothing. Nothing. However, he can be destroyed by battle. That's why you craft him with Buzzsaw Shark, a water-type shark, so and Right-Hand Shark. Right-Hand Shark, if you use him to summon an XYZ monster, that card you summon cannot be destroyed by battle. Crooked Cook cannot be destroyed by cards. It cannot be affected by cards. It cannot be destroyed in battle. It can only be removed through uh, if something tributes it. Or, no, no, that's the only thing that can actually get rid of it. But there are ways to yeah. bypass it. Uh, I have a card right here. I can actually literally show you a card. This is a giant moth. Uh, his name is Godarla. Uh, and these cards allow you to tribute an enemy's monster to summon it on the opposite side of the field. So you give them a strong monster, but the price is they have to get rid of one of their monsters by your choice, right? So you, you, you put these cards in decks as like destruction to get past things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to get past. Um, so if they have one of these kaijus, they can delete the Crooked Cook. They also can, uh, if they have piercing damage, which means they will deal damage through a defense position monster, they can still hurt me. And some cards have the ability to attack directly. However, there are a lot of decks in the game that don't have those three things. The I'm going to say with confidence as somebody who's who plays Pendulum Editions, it is unlikely that this person would be running any of the cards they need to beat you. I think you're okay. Also, okay. they seem to be using the like starter deck version of it, which is pretty suboptimal. So. The fact that they're Comatose continuing. The chat saying Chaos Max Dragon. Yeah, that's a great example of yeah, a card Chaos that Max fucks. Dragon Bl annihilates Blue this are strategy. Not very good. Blue eyes decks are not very good. They they are passable. Like they they work, but blue eyes decks beat this every single time. If the person piloting the deck can remember that they have a card called called Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon. They win because it just fucking kills you. So the However, real question here is: I, I am not without the ability to fight. I do have so, I do no, have the ability to survive if someone tries to counter me. The thing to note here is that your opponent is still going. They didn't attack, which means that they did read your card. They must be aware of the strategy. Which is a shame because the most entertaining crooked cook battles are the ones where people don't understand. That. This person it's understands. It's going around more and more. More people are understanding it now. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's gaining a little bit of popularity. Mm. A few weeks ago, people would have no idea. This Yu-Gi-Oh game seems kind of scuffed. Yeah, it's a fucked up game. It's fucked up in a fun and entertaining way. Is so it? how how do you win? You draw Exodia. That's how yeah, you win. Yeah, that's this how stuff. we're gonna win, folks. We're gonna get Exodia. Instead of there are two different ways to win with Exodia. You either try to draw all your cards in one turn so that your opponent doesn't play against you, or you just stall the game so hard that you just draw it naturally. Mm -hmm. uh, or you just get the enemy to quit because they get bored. That works too. This game will probably last 50 turns. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Yeah, it, this is this is where we just chill and talk. This is this is the uh, this is the yeah. relaxation deck. I grabbed my uh, snacks. I'm in for the long haul. Mm -hmm. Scissors, fuck. Me and Giorgiana, we're always on the same wavelength. Like all the, all the fucking time, we're on the same wavelength. They're like brothers. Paper. Yeah, now, that's is, what I'm talking about. I will say, this specific Crooked Cook game is going to be made worse by the fact that you are playing against Pendulum Magicians, and if the person playing Pendulum Magicians doesn't understand how their deck works, they are going to take fucking forever to do their turns <laughs> as they read all of their cards, which have twice as much card text as normal cards. Yeah, these cards are... Oh, what do you get out? What, perform Pal Odd Eyes. This card cannot beat me. I've, I'm not a master at Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, no, no, I am. That's the that's the bit of the stream is that I'm the best duelist, right? But um, mm -hmm. the I've gotten good enough to click on a card, scroll through it, and tell if I need to care about it. You you need to read cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. If you don't read cards in Yu-Gi-Oh when you're not playing a gimmick deck, you'll lose. But the trick is to just learn like keywords. Like just. just I was paying attention. Did that guy tribute summon that level eight? Yeah, I think or so. Or did he special it? I, I think, think he, he tribute summoned that. I don't know. That's why. crazy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so when do you play our opponent Dark still Cup? hasn't done anything. I could. You want, you want me to play Dark Cup? Oh, I think this guy might exploit me. No I think way. they might have just walked away Not from the Denny's. He was using the export <laughs> command. Oh, uh, Denny's Wi Fi went down.
Their name does have AFK in it, so they might have. All right. Nice. Connection failed. Now let's Connection see if that person failed. exploited me or not. No, I ranked up, so they didn't. Yep, you we won. Are, uh, we are winning way more than we should be tonight. <laughs> we are winning way yeah. more than we should be tonight. You're, you're doing it. All right, so Hold I, up, I predicted Wayne. What's that the that exploit game, thing? Uh, there's an exploit in the game where if someone is losing, they can uh, essentially end the game and make you lose, guaranteed. Yeah, they oh. can they can force you to disconnect, which counts as a loss. Yeah, it's it's just some like fucking. Bullshit. You know, it hasn't. You know, it it hasn't happened to me yet. Thank it's God. No, it's pretty at rare. At least five times. It, it's really? pretty rare. But all right, good starting hand. We're gonna play pot to bait out the ash. Oh yeah, so you know something that the the uninformed watchers here probably don't know about is hand traps. I still haven't talked about like what that actually does. Um, hand traps are like the most important thing in Yu-Gi-Oh! Almost. Uh, they are essentially cards that you can activate before you, you've even played them. Uh, and they are some of the strongest cards because they can just stop enemies from doing what they need to do to like win the game, right? So I have a card here called Effect Veiler. During the enemy's turn, I can use this to negate one of their cards, which will usually let you like... You might not win if you do that, but uh, there's one called Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring, which stops you from uh, drawing specific cards. The best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pull other cards out of your deck, like that. I think we already won. <laughs> oh, Quinto man. wasn't having it, dude. Quinto. I must have been nuts to think I could for, learn this crazy for any, game. <laughs> for, for, any, for any Magic the Gathering players in the chat, yeah. not only... Oh, We're not. He's back. Oh. oh, you're in. Oh. You, you Ready, Magic the Gathering oh, players. In chat. No, never mind. Oh. All right. <laughs> Bro, you're gonna get the plat tonight. What I don't know what's going, going on. What the fuck is going on? I haven't even drawn out. I haven't even pulled out Grandpa's Gambit. What is happening? Like these people are just not Streamers drawing lost. Ash Blossom and they're disconnecting. I don't know what's happening. Oh, they they, they know that you're it. streaming and they're like, I'm gonna make it boring. <laughs> There's this no might way be it. they could stream snipe me with my name being I Heart Grandpa. Like, there's no way they could just log into Twitch and check really quick. Like, oh, it's I Heart Grandpa. Grandpa hey, streamer. streamer. Grandpa streamer. Oh, for any, see, for hey, any we magic were just, we were just talking players. about her. I got two of them right here. For any Magic Gathering right, players in the chat, please they don't like me. Please Force don't of Will. Me. They like Force myself. of Will so much that there's multiple. Force of Will is like a card type. I don't think people in chat know what that is, Mel. The magic the gathering play magic, though. They do. I don't yeah. know how many of those are on chat. Uh, Bloodsaw Shark. For, so and for other Magic the Gathering players, really, every match so far tonight has been like, somebody comes up to the table and shows Yorion as their companion, and then the other person leaves immediately. Chat, I don't, to be, chat if you, let, let, I'll relate, I'll relate to y'all. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Uh, and done. The clock is cooked, and we pass our turn. You see this? You see this little so ghost girl over here? Call, this is Ash Blossom long, and Joyous Spring. This, Ash and Joyous Spring. this is Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. This card, when you run decks like I do, FTK decks, this card can just make you lose instantly. They can play this hey, and when, just brick your you whole fucking deck. It's so crazy. Valentine's it's so Day. strong. It it's, it's so strong that every deck in the game runs three of them. What, Almost dude, what, yeah, what you need to understand is that, like, Wayne's not running these cards to be an asshole. These exactly. cards are necessary evils. You need to slot anywhere from six to, like, ten cards in your deck. Six crazy. to ten cards in your deck need to be force of wills to keep your opponent in check. Hey, how many cards do they have in their deck? They're, if they're playing, it looks like Storm, fucking. Oh, this guy doesn't know what's going on. He's swinging into it. All right, all right. This is this is where the money is. This is why you play this deck. It's for the it's for these people, the the ones that don't read. Should I even stop his mills? I don't know. No. So, no. If, how many cards do they have? Wait, no. I don't want to. They, they, they have forty-seven. So I want them to mill because, like, yeah. because I need that to as. There is a high probability cards. that they will mill themselves out of this game if they're playing Light Sworn. All of Light Swarm revolves that. around requiring to mill to, to do it. Yeah, you deck Wayne people out all the time. Agumon, I see, I see what you're saying. I need to wave dash. That's never happened to me, but I do believe it. 
I, I, I only put Crooked Cook in the in the extra zone because like when I watched Amira do it, that's where she put it. So I just started doing it out of habit. Uh, but yeah, he could he could monkey go down here. See, monkey do. <laughs> Luckily, we're not up against Cyber Dragon. We're up against Light Sworn. We're up against Raiden. I can't believe you've gone up against two Light Sworns tonight. That's I, weird. People play this deck. I don't know why, but it's they probably play people it. that played back in like the late 2000s, like early 2010s. At least I think that's when Light Sworns were good. I could possibly beat this deck with my Insectors. Which one? The Light Sworn or me? A lot of decks can beat me. You, you, you literally just need to have. A specific card in your deck to beat this deck. I see. That's where I'm happy that I prefer kaiju. Well, you know, kaiju's are pretty splashable and just. I mean, fun. yeah, you're gonna I mean, play it's not, that. It's far from yeah, invincible. Get your fucking sanctuary out of here. What? I don't even know what this does. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. I was not paying attention to what light swords do. You just um, you were just your own worst enemy. Yeah, but who cares? I'm not gonna lose. I know. Let's go. Uh, the uh, you, you so look chat, dumb for card, it though. This card uh, allows uses light sworn counters to protect light sworn cards, and it can remove two shine counters, whatever it wants to protect a light sworn card, such as light sworn sanctuary, which is the card I just tried to destroy without reading it. This is why you read cards. See, I did that on purpose to teach new fledgling Yu-Gi-Oh players a lesson. Always read the card. Tron, we do you have prediction. that picture of the read the card card? Let me see. I want to put that on screen. Um. Hell yeah, thank you, Kaiju Mufu. Ah, oh, fuck, that's right, My you can't search in... Old enough to drive. You can't search in threads in Discord for some reason. I'm never going to be able to find this. Through. Just scroll up. Oh no, he's got two Raidens. Or search images, rather. Yeah, but you can't. You can't, you can't search in threads. You can't search at all in threads. No. I don't know why I'm staring at this. Hey, why, why am I like? I get it. Why am I, why am I staring at this? People get to change this extra board. The using abilities. Extreme offense to that. I forgive you, though. You hear. Oh yeah, chat. Here's our other win condition. Oh yeah. Classic. Final countdown. A very fun card. Oh, I heard a music. Pay 2,000 life on? points. After 20 turns have passed, after you activate this card, you win the duel. <laughs> I forgot about so that. So now we've started That's the one. final countdown. We've started the timer. -da 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 -da. If this guy cannot remove Crooked Cook from the field. If this guy cannot figure out a way to hit me for 2,000 damage, which is not a lot, which is like, he has, like, these cards on the field alone could do 2,000 damage. It's my if he can't do that in, in 19 more turns, he loses. Out. Saw? <laughs> yeah. If you Somebody in chat says me. they can't believe that attacking a monster counts as a card effect. It doesn't. There's another card he's using that stops it from being destroyed by battle. Yes, because it's equipped with right hand it's shark. A combo. It was summoned with this card, which prevents it from being destroyed by battle. It can also be targeted by another card I have called Astral Karibo, which protects it even more. But we didn't have that. This deck has like four different ways to make sure this card gets out. You usually. Uh... I did not find the card you were asking for, Wayne, but I did find this one. <laughs> okay, I'll put that on screen, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can't find it. I scrolled up from like a week ago and now <laughs> I'm on, bored I'll set of this scrolling, on my field. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're you're sure to win now. Yeah, that thing's like level like level eighteen. That's crazy. <laughs> Stars like over there on the side. <laughs> they took away all his teeth. This is a yummy burger. Yes! Hold on, let's see the Yum, stats on that the... card. Attack equals six, defense more. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> okay. Well, so do you like think that? Here. Okay. What What will happen first? Exodia final countdown or this person self mills themselves until they lose? Uh, it's gonna be burning. Uh oh. Wait. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> we weren't paying attention. Well. Well, we lost. Well, that's piercing damage for you. Yep. Damn, I did not expect... I, now we know Light Sword has piercing damage. I did not know they had it. Well, right. you've made, you've made your failed us. sad. We need to go back to the good old classic Exodia. Well, fuck Exodia, fuck Exodia. But we're not just playing the, the normal Exodia deck we played before. No, chat. I have all these decks. Why should I just use the same old one every single time? Time. I, Balp and I, on the fateful night of February 2nd, 2022. It was 2 a.m. and the only ones awake in the Discord call were Balp and I. The and night we were owl. hanging out. Good we're the Check. night owls. I was I playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I finished up some Exodia games and I went, whew, those are some good Exodia games. How about we open some <laughs> legacy packs and get some, some kick-ass cards? So we opened some legacy packs and we found a card. We've had a card that you've probably never, ever seen before. It's an ancient card, and it's one that I had never heard of before today. And it is used in the Flexodia deck. Uh, and you will see it now. This version of the Exodia deck is almost exactly the same as the other one, save for two additional cards that strictly make this deck worse. It does not make Exodia <laughs> any better. It does not make yeah, the strategy any more consistent. It makes it inconsistent. But, you'll see. And I have drawn it in the first turn. Oh! What? Oh, you, watch, you watch, boy! You watch! Oh my god, oh you played god, this the fucking oh burn god. deck. Look at that shit. Oh shit! You're playing against a fucking trap burn deck. Ceremonial bell. The effect, both players must keep their hands revealed. This is Flexodia. Where this you're... dude is about to drop five and pass. Yep. I can see every. And he's about he to blow up your bell with his fucking ring of destruction, by the way. Can Shit. you do that? It's a yeah. trap card. Less than or equal to Yeah, to during life Wayne's course. next turn. Oh, right. Oh, that's not as fun. The whole point inflict of this deck is that, your like... Opponent. Well, he won't inflict damage, at least. The, the whole point of this deck is to let our opponent watch us draw Exodia. Yeah, if the bell if the bell activates, so if they get rid of the bell, we games. lose. We might have to just leave. Yeah, that's the <laughs> All right. All right, hold on. That's let's let's see what he has. That's... Threatening, threatening roar. We can't, we can't attack. Good thing we won't do that. Activate only when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Reckless greed lets him draw two and skip his phases. Magical cylinder defense from attack. Dimensional wall. Man, what the fuck is this guy doing? The only one of those that you care about is, is ring of destruction. They... Yeah, ring of. Which well, he is it, put that down. one doesn't even burn you. I don't I, think this deck me. can win against you because I don't think they have a way to do damage directly. I and guess they probably are running a uh, secret gates. barrel. And he They're didn't probably get running rid of chicken game. game. Yeah, he used it. He drew a card. So I know. Good. You watch. You watch, Moonfang. Well, yeah, no, use your ring of destruction. No, he doesn't have to watch. Yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's he's gonna, gonna close his eyes. your bell. Motherfucker. <laughs> it's not even gonna do no! anything. It's not zero attack. No! Wow, what an ass. I won't be able to see your three cards anymore. Don't you want to watch me? No, what the fuck, oh, man? He said ass. no to the Exodia show. What a scoop. bitch. You should scoop. No, no I, should I can scoop. beat this guy. I'm almost certain I can beat this guy. Like, I, like, this guy's deck, if this was any other deck we were up against, I would probably just leave because we did lose our bell. But in this, in you're, this you're, specific you're scenario, you're here to make them learn a lesson? Yeah, I gotta teach them a lesson. He really doesn't have anything played that, like, can allow him to win yet. So. Yeah, like, he won't burn me. What the fuck? Bro. What? I, I know what cards you played. What do you even have to react with? I'm never gonna attack you. Understand that. Yeah, but they can still activate Threatening Roar whenever they want. Yeah, I yeah. guess. It's, They're just gonna was, slow the game so down. That must be so fun for them. I think you should probably just hold on to the void. Yeah, yeah the other person no, no, doesn't have a real bad be, It would be stupid two, for me two. to do that. Unless I draw into like a full combo. 
Jack, the reason or, Wayne this didn't is the first... set the bell is because you can only set a card face down, which yeah. means that its effect is not activate. Yeah. Well, the show lied to you. <laughs> you can't set a monster in defense position when you first play. Three discard, threatening roar. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> he knows I'm never gonna attack him. So we are, we are essentially up against like one of our own kind. Chat. That, like this guy, this guy is it's playing a, gimmick, a gimmick weird ass deck that is meant also to stop wearing clown you from attacking, shoes. stop you from playing the game, and kill you without playing the game. But we're not playing the game. And by using pseudo space, he will not be able to use my chicken game. Let's do a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. Scissors. Damn it, see, that's what I'm saying. Girgiano and I are just like fucking, <laughs> we're, the, we're one and the same. Please subscribe to me. Paper. I do believe, yes. I do believe there was a night a couple days oh, ago where Girgiano beat you five times time. in a row. <laughs> yeah, that did, that did happen. Ah! That did happen. That scared me. <laughs> Bro, turn off your reactions, you fucking... St Come on, man. You're not gonna use your traps. I know you're not. <laughs> Let's double summon. Double summon. <laughs> this, this is the other card we add to the deck, which is to get the bell out on a normal turn, which we can't do. Uh, we're gonna end our turn. Wayne Radiot. Double Summon is now useful just to cast a spell to feed the library. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Uh, I mean, you could, like, have two libraries out. I Yeah, actually, no. Oh, yeah, that I, I can do that. And that's a super powerful combo that most Exodia decks don't get to do. So now it's your turn. And now I don't know what traps you're going to play. Thank oh, so we're going to start playing Numeron Wall. Reckless Greed, draw two. They do have I an extra deck, know. but it might just be because they're running one of the extra deck pots. Probably. Yu-Gi-Oh needs a chat. Yeah! Okay, you can't you've done it. Me if I don't Congratulations. Play the game, bitch. Defeated by Flex Zodia. Deluxe Exodia victory. Fuck yeah. That That's was so nice. basically the best possible matchup you could have hoped for. So honestly, yeah. Congratulations. It's a deck that doesn't try to play the game either. <laughs> Thank you, Cyber Kid Zeist. Yo, I love Cardboard Simulator 17. The man possessed by Hot Twin is my favorite. The Come on, so you do not want somebody in chat mentioned like why is yes. all box chat in this? Game? Is, you do ah, not want I just that. have to pass. Wow. Pot of greed. You could play the bell and no, see what they're the playing. I can't play the bell because then he's gonna destroy it. Yeah, but you can see what you're up against. I'll do but it after. Your hand. They're gonna play that cards anyways. I can't, I can't risk them busting open the bell. L listen, listen, it would be, listen, you, listen, until he draws more spell cards, this hand is embarrassing, you don't want to this draw This maybe the worst card, yeah. <laughs> Yo, check out Yo, what check I got, sick, I got two dragons and a sick blue eyes. Oh, it's fucking, oh, it's, it's, fucking it's, it's We're fucked. You're probably We're fucked. fucked. We're fucked. They're almost certainly going to end on a board with like six Lir negates. So. Lyrilisk is a archetype where it's birds that are also girls and, uh, this is probably the best deck in the game. No, I don't think it's the best. If, if they show a Tri Brigade card, then yes. No, Tri... I mean, it's definitely good, but it's I think Drytron is up. better. They both are decks that just kind of win if they go first, but I feel like Drytrons are slightly more consistent. And Zodiac Tri Brigade is also better than Lyrilis Tri Brigade, in my opinion. There we go. <laughs> We'll always have one extra card in our hand. We can't lose. What letters does Scorpius use to spell things? Uh, there's a card that is just a big E. There's a card that is a uh, a big, a big D. D. Uh, there there's is the F. word final. Uh, there's, yeah. an, there's an L. Yes, there is an L. However, you can't play the L unless you play the F. Th there is an alt win condition called Spirit Board that is maybe one of the hardest. It's probably not the hardest. There are some weird alt win cons. Uh, but Spirit Board requires you to spell out the words final in your spell zone. F-I-N-A-L. 
uh, just in case you don't know how to spell it. <laughs> the, uh, but it's super lame. Because in the original version of the game, uh, that card spells out death, which is way cooler. Uh, but they made it final. For the and kids. if you play all five cards, you win. Dude, uh, this is the slowest lyricless player I've ever seen. This dude is reading his cards in several languages before playing them. Flying Elephant is harder. I thought Flying, I thought flying Elephant was never printed. Subscribe to me, please. Please, please. I could have uh, just talked about that I just that think I, I think I just took all your life points. Is this game beginner friendly or do Someone I mean, Chad Ash, is this game beginner friendly? I don't think so, but it's also not impossible to learn. You've got to put in some effort for sure, but it's you I can learn say, it. I'll say, I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh is beginner friendly, but Master Duel is. Master Duel has a solo mode that, like, will teach you the core uh, basics. It, it will teach you the very basics, but it leaves out a lot that will leave you confused. The thing you is, like, it's as soon as you drop that... it, you can't make a tutorial that's comprehensive for Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, like, you, the you cards are the things shit. you need to learn. Yeah. Like, the, there, every deck has just, like, crazy bullshit it can do. Like, like, this. like the, the tutorial will not tell you what some more This Bird person does not do. know how to play Lyraless Tribe again. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what they're doing. Right? They're landing on a single... That's their end? Board. That's their That's board? That's not... For the record, this deck with, like, almost any hand can land on a board with, like, nine negates at the end. Yeah, so. this guy, this guy, this guy fucked up. This guy, this card, it, it, all this it, guy it, can right. do, this card protects the cards in these three positions. It also Which gives him a free summon card. during the end phase. It's probably going to yeah. do a barrier statue, though, which you don't care about. I bet you but, can't uh, predict it. If it does I Apex Avian, that's a bit of a problem, but if it's a barrier statue, then you're fine. The, yeah, the, I, I don't know if I can say the same that Yu-Gi-Oh! is a beginner from the game, because, like, no, I definitely am relying on, like, Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! are not similar, but, like, I know ew, what, make, like, I know what is good in a card game, and that's what carried me, that's what carries me in Yu-Gi-Oh! This is a shit hand, bro. Yeah, this hand sucks. Negate the, the, the bell. bell. No. Negate the bell. <laughs> they have a right kick. They're gonna draw a mock bird. I'm out of here. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> hey, look at their draw hand and leave. Bird and Ash, I'm fucking out of here. Yo, you should have played bell turn one. We could have saved like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's true. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, Chad, the reason why we lost there is because by playing Ceremonial Bell, I revealed the opponent's hand, and I saw that they had a card called Droll and Lockbird, which the moment they use it, stops the opponent from drawing cards, which is all I do in this deck. So, uh, I lost. <laughs> as soon as I started to play any of my spells, he would have used Droll and Lockbird, and it would have been over. And the next turn, I would have died. Wait, my that points. Rage quit? No, that's that was not a rage, rage quit. You don't, if you think that's a rage quit, you don't understand Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, yeah. that... I feel like with, with the thing with card games is that, like, there's no... There's nothing bad about right, giving go. up this because right. like in a card game, you can kind of get to the point where it's like, okay, there's no way I'm going to get back. It's better to just give the, the opponent the win. The bizarre thing about uh, Master Duel is that like it specifically punishes you for conceding, even though it has I mean, the option. Barely, yeah. You don't get any points at the end if you concede. But and also the points like, barely matter. Gran granted, the points give you tickets, which you redeem for like Crash. Sonic Duck. But yeah, the points are effectively useless, so that really isn't a, it's a problem with it's. It's a lot like it's a lot like Who's Line, where everything's made up and the points don't matter. Exactly. Chicken game. Chicken game. Pseudo space, double summon. Pseudo space. I like how somehow in all of these fucking stupid bell deck games, you've drawn one of the two cards that makes your deck worse in your opening hand every time. Okay. You've always drawn double summon or the bell. It's okay. I got it a good makes your deck more it. inconsistent. One day of it's peace, okay. I got, I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. One day of peace is a sign of good luck. That does mean you get one more turn, at least. One day four piece. Uh, Hammer. The mallet. No, I'm just gonna wait. Are you yeah. sure? I mean, yeah, you could I'd keep have card advantage. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. No, no, I wanna wait. I wanna wait. Four day okay. one. Day. Fuck up my money, bitch. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. You don't know that. What did this guy set and passes? Set it's and true. pass. 
It's a dragon deck. We're fine. It's like, it's fucking blue oh, it's eyes. Probably a blue fine. eyes deck. Yeah. All right, mark paper scissors. Then. Scissors. Damn it! This fucking gear. <laughs> That's two losses in a row. Every time. What's funny is I'm guessing that like that function is Return like the dragon. can't be more than thirty Who lines my long. But there's only three of those in the entire world. I have a ripped one in now witness me, the this power guy of my blue of eyes, blue white blue dragon. There's no way. Draglubion? What is that card? Have you ever seen Draglubion? I see Draglubion no, all the time. Seen, I've never seen Draglubion. I kind of, ever since I hit plat, you don't see a lot of blue eyes decks up there. <laughs> he's trying to. Oh, he's doing fucking Numeron? But one day of peace. Is he gonna no! go for it? Did it read? <laughs> what a dipshit! I rose a 16, you didn't read what the cards. What a dipshit. He's looking I now like, why the fuck turn. didn't that work, bro? <laughs> well. One day of peace, the strongest card in my grandfather's deck. You lose. What's Your great first here? mistake, Kaiba, was by not reading what? my card. What's great here is. You got the bell right. and double summon, son of a bitch. Witness! Play the bell and hammer. Play the I bell to, I have to keep double, double summon though, because I need to summon my library. Right. Witness right. my deck. You know what's funny? That means your opponent saw that you played a card that let them draw a card and like just didn't question it. Like they just were like, Hey, oh, they have God. a trade in too. Yeah, that makes sense. Wow. Uh you gotta get rid of the double summon. I need my library! Create... I played Bell this turn! Well, you're fucked either way. I Easy. lose. <laughs> Oh, you're you're not gonna headbutt him? No, I can't. Get a headbutt him. Oh, I could have actually if I double summon. I'm gonna hit him with the. I'm giving him the ding dong, ding dong. Exodia's dead. <laughs> <laughs> you threw away Exodia? Yeah, cause that, I lost. That dude's sitting there like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Someone, someone in chat said Flexodia zero percent win rate. That's actually true. I've never won with this deck. <laughs> no, you did. I mean, you, you won via so people close. giving up. This close. I've gotten scoops, but I've never gotten Exodia with this deck. Yeah. <laughs> adding two cards that don't help your deck. I'll say, I'll say like Exodia one. is a deck that literally. Wow, okay, the, the, the win the condition fuck? of the win condition of Exodia decks is to draw Exodia, right? But what that means in like a number sense is that you have oh, to have guy. plus five card advantage, which basically means that anything in your deck that doesn't generate Double card advantage is bad. Taking the gray pill. What is this? Oh, this oh, guy's gray, gray pill. Yeah. Oh no, to be he's honest, gonna put an I know egg that dinos. On my out of the field. I know that dinos are good, but I don't know what they do. They put eggs. They lay eggs on your field. Straight he's extinct up. and gray pilled. Rock, paper, scissors, paper! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Every time you lose to Gugiano, I'm so good. If you if you lose to him You're again, you have to scoop you have to scoop immediately. To be, you're losing to something that like has to be like 30 lines of code back. So it's like rock, paper, scissors! What do you mean? There's not like What does this do? Can this negate with my friends? Monsters effect. Oh, that kind of sucks. Thomas, what if they Thomas, negate your bell? Thimble, Trumpler, I'll cry. Robert, Plank, I, no, I don't think you Albert, can negate Ange, the bell. Because it doesn't, it's not like a monster effect activates. Why does not negate that? Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's more like a... Did you well, actually, mallet? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm mallet. gonna mallet everything. Except for the end of the void. What is this guy? Ash Blossom, maybe? Ash. Oh, Ash really fucked up. Ashing Mallet would be a weird move. Yeah, weird okay. Move. Well, they've done it. I mean, it's not that weird. It's gonna make you lose. Yeah, I, they might just kill me in the next turn. Let's see. Maybe they can't get out 8,000 damage. All right, Giorgiano, let's go. Scissors. God is ass. All right, you won. God is ass. <laughs> God is ass. You got his gears. Oh, Rock. Fuck. He cheated.
not, Look at not this. game I've never yet. seen a dino deck play this, these Still cards. not game. Close. <laughs> it's close. And also, I don't have any chicken game fuel after this. <gasps> what is that thing? It's cute. Baby, baby Saurus. Baby Sarasaurus. Baby Sarasaurus, yeah. It's got it's a, a good card. Egg, got a little egg diaper. All right, you get one more turn. But somehow, somehow yeah, they the didn't manage once. to OTK you. I don't know how. Upstart Goblin yeah. is going to draw the leg. That would be fucking funny. Oh. Oh, it's not now. Well. Could be a chicken game. That'd be good. Well. Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> I won. That explosion was the other guy dying. Turns out you only need one card in Exodia. Defeat! To win. You defeated your <laughs> enemy. Alright, I'm sick of this Flexodia shit. It's never I've never done it. I will want okay, one, one more. No, no, you you like you cursed this deck because because like the night that we came up with this, I almost you did, did it. I was like, run, and you almost did it, but you misclicked. Oh yeah, that's literally what it was. I don't remember how I misclicked, but I did misclick. It's like jinx, but we need to break the curse. It's like the Red Sox in the oh, World fuck. Series. This is a good start hand, but it's not my turn. It's like the Red Sox in the World Series, you know? We gotta break the curse. And then this deck is gonna have like a hundred percent win rate. Oh my god, it's a dark, it's a DD deck. All right, this turn's not gonna DD be long. Deck. This turn's not gonna be quick. Now, do you mean DD or DD? D no, it's DDD. D D slash D. D D D. Okay, it's D slash D, not DD. Why does Wayne lose when he attacks with Exodia? No, like I said, I won. I don't <laughs> like that. There's two forms of DD. Well, this is D there's slash D. Yeah. I mean, there's D, the D. There's DD Crow. DD like Crow is a D slash D card. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's D slash D Crow. No, yeah, D, D, dot, D dot D and D slash D are different archetypes. Yeah. Hey, are you are any are either of you familiar enough with this deck to know if I could like go away from my computer for a bit? No, I have no idea what this deck does to be honest. Are DD turns that long that I could go let my dog outside? I don't know. Dolby Dolby's fine. He's a big he's a big kid. He can hold it. Yes, unless the opponent sucks. I'm worried. You're worried he might be too good. I'm also worried because though he might go outside and not pee, he might find a fun stick and then try to like keep away. I don't know. He might just eat a bug. Yeah. That would suck. DDD High Flame King Genghis. King DDD. Oh, thank God he's gone. Oh, that, had, gone. that had spell trap card negates. Abyss King Gilgamesh. Bad news. I'm pretty sure you're going to bring that fusion back. No, he's not. He can't. He's going to destroy it. Oh, uh, someone in chat it says that D dot D stands for different dimension and D slash D is just double D. <laughs> <laughs> that rules. That's fucking awesome. Angus can only negate spells on his turn. Oh! No, it's a click effect. Oh, once per your turn. That's weird. Wow. That makes that card much worse. That's strange. That card is way worse than no one plays this deck. I'm pretty sure this is like a viable rogue strategy. I have fucking PTSD from this fucking deck. They have a card that looks like this. I'm not sure what it's called, but it looks like this. It's just a big, dark, evil dude sitting on his throne. And when he summons it, it just stops anything from happening. The, the, it, like, it will straight... Is it that one? DD Oblivion King. No. There's one of these cards that will literally stop you from playing cards. It'll stop you from monster effects. It'll stop your spells. I don't know what the card is. Kali Yuga, maybe? And they summon it during your turn, so you can't do anything. This one... Uh oh, well. <laughs> that one? What does it do? <laughs> After this card is activated, you summon for the rest of this turn. Other cards and their effects cannot be activated on the field, and other card effects on the uh -oh. turn are negated. Once per turn, each only... player's turn. Yeah, but, like, they have means to summon it during your turn. This guy did not do okay. it during my turn. But, you can detach one XYZ material from this card, destroy all spell and trap cards on the field. That's fine. 
because he's not going to negate them, right? I mean, I guess he can destroy yeah, chicken that, game. That seems weird that they would summon that on <laughs> their own turn. Yeah. Is he going to do it immediately? Kali Yuga sounds like a bionicle. Kali Yuga's new chair comes with a pair uh, of double-headed axes. Ooh, trade in. Which axes. can turn into scuba fins, vastly increasing his speed. Feed underwater. In table. I think Wayne will draw all of Exodia on this turn. I think Wayne will play a Bionicles game now. Are there bets for this one? Mm. Uh, yes, there are bets <laughs> for this one. I think some folks are going to be in the money. You're in the money. I'm scared that his one card is an Ash Blossom. If only I had my ceremonial bell. Yeah, there are no the good gives, Bionicles the games. Good. It gives perfect information. Sorry. Other than the Flash games they had on their website, there's literally not a single good Bionicle game. The blue chain circle effect on cards means that they are, like, activating. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, whenever you respond to a card's, like, effect, it is creates what is called a chain. So if a chain appears, that means that the opponent has an option. There is something in their deck that they could use to respond to me. And possibly stop what I'm about to do. So this moment is the decisive moment. They were... Hey. Oh, I was about hey. to say, I could have sworn Ooh. they'd be waiting for the fucking Ash Blossom on the Now, he on the, might have something to do with the, with oh, the library. It's... Maybe? Well, you need these next two cards to be pretty good. They gotta be real good. That's real that's good! Pretty that's good. real fucking yeah, good! That's... that's another two, baby. And I get to use pseudo space for a draw on the Royal Magical Library. Hopefully, I get a chicken game. I hope you get to play the maxi challenge soon. That doesn't happen to me though. Wayne is not also, playing the right deck. I can't yeah. really get to play the maxi challenge because he never special summons in any of his decks. I mean, I, ha I have like one deck that does it, but yes. Okay, this is really this is a really lucky sequence of draws. Unless he has a way to negate the library. He doesn't. He uh, doesn't. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna break the curse? Are we? Is Wayne gonna win the Yu-Gi-Oh World Series? Here's the thing. We have 22 oh, cards left still, in this deck, and we have three pieces two, of Exodia. There are two bricks in the deck that do nothing but hinder him. That he is not drawn yet. No, I'm not yeah, playing. Don't, don't oh no, this is Flexodia, isn't it? Yes. Oh, I don't shit. remember you changing it. I don't think I changed it either. It's just been so. It, his turn took so long. I forgot. I'm surprised Here's he hasn't the destroyed my... Yeah, the moment you realize is when it breaks. Okay, I need another trade-in. Come on. This trade is such. This is an important consonant. fucking card. I get another draw from it. Either trade-in or cards of consonants. Why is he thinking so hard about this one? Hey, can you guys hear me? Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Discord froze. Really. Do I have another chicken game in the graveyard? No, I have to do... I, I think you to gotta grab the... Void. Void, go for yeah. broke. I mean, I could have done Dark World Dealings too, but also I'm not fully going for broke. You gotta, I you gotta draw the library. library. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, there's no way he'd let you drop that many cards before. There's the fucking bell. Right. Right. Chat, everybody, put your hands on the TV screen and channel energy. Double summon, double summon, double summon. Yo, if it's double summon. Right. Oh. Oh. All oh, right. You gotta do it again, right. though. You gotta do it again. Right. Oh. Subscribe to me, please. Please subscribe to me. Holy shit! Please, please. All right. Do it again. again. Double summon's still in double there. Double summon though. is still in there. Dark World Dealings. Come on, I need double summon now while I have a spell. Grandpa! Hey, Grandpa! Grandpa's here! Grandpa! Thank you, Grandpa! Oh my god, Grandpa's here. He's- Chat, I want you to know he's foil, Grandpa. He is a foil, Grandpa, huh? <laughs> Wayne crafted, like, 50 inch of blue fruits. I, had, I, crafted, <laughs> I crafted 45 to get a foil, Grandpa. <laughs> what?! Called by? What are you doing?! What is he called by? What are you banishing? What is he banishing? What? what? <laughs> Did he just right. banish the boss? Maybe he just got dragon. sick. What was he doing? 
Oh shit. Huh? Is he like chaining a bunch of people? Grandpa, before I can get the card! Oh no. Grandpa, no! Grandpa, Grandpa no! no! Damn, I really needed that draw. Yeah, that sucks. That I can't sucks. believe they waited until now to do it. Something about Enchimufri like freaked them out. They, they got did scared. not like Grandpa. But it's is not that like yet. a well-known card that I don't no, know? No, it's no. not. No, it's not. So they literally just saw a card with a bunch it's of text not even a in good with a card. pendulum symbol, and they it's were just like, card. no. Okay. Oh, shut up, shut up. Now it's good. Now it's really good. What? Mallet could uh, be uh, super useful. Uh, what happened? Did oh, they're exploiting you. Why would they do that? What happened? Uh... This is usually what happens when you get exploited. I think this guy is about to cheat. Whoa, thank god! Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Double summon! No! No! This is it, bitch! Sir, it's a happening. You watch. You it's watch. Fucking bell. Actively making your magical mallet worse. Yeah. <laughs> Could have had a whole other card. Should I dump these two uh, or should I keep them? Shut up. Shut up. You gotta do everything. I think yeah. you gotta everything, everything. Because you need spells, right? You don't need. Like, even if they're fuel for other spells, you just need. Oh. Oh. God, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank God! I didn't thank the, God! Thank God on heaven! Holy shit! This is the one, that This is the one, bro. <laughs> Come on, you gotta, you gotta flex on him. I think I need to keep this. I don't Why? think so. I think you just do it all. Okay. Whoa. Okay, I can't play. I can't sucks, play terraforming. But but you have more field spells. There's yourself? probably a dark world dealing. No, I don't have more field spells. That's why I can't play terraforming. Can you play and like does Matt, does Yu-Gi-Oh let you like play a card and then like say like fail to find? No. You can you Damn, you, really? you you cannot play a card if it cannot resolve. That is an illegal. Oh, move. this is Ooh, that looking sucks. bad. This is looking bad. No, you're fine. You have one more mallet and whatever this card is. And the mallet Believe will give this me a, a library draw. Damn, dude, that fuck. Wait, no, it won't. Fuck, I gotta dump everything back in again. Yep. Yeah, dump this everything is the last mallet too. It's okay. It's okay. I believe. I believe. Chat. Believe. Believe. I don't believe. know what other draw spells he even has, has left. Watched you draw four pieces of Exodia three times now. Oh. Are we bricked? That's bricked. <laughs> Maybe you would have won if you didn't devil summon Bell <laughs> and just put him back into the deck. I can't believe how often you drew those. That's crazy. That's the whole point, dude. Damn, you're so close to seven more cards. Oh, Jack McStone says, Wayne, didn't you do one day of peace? Oh, boy, I did. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I played one day of peace. Ah. Uh, well. All right, scoop and go walk your dog. <laughs> I'm not going to walk him. I'm just taking him outside. He already had his walks. We had a fucking crazy day. We went to the dog park. We went to the pet store. We went on two walks. He did everything. He went all over the world today. Uh, but we are gonna take a little break. And when I get back, I have other decks to show you. I got like three whole more decks. Can you believe it? No, you can't. That was a hell of a, a post a nail biter. Yeah, we were so close. I was like, I wanted to magical mallet the terraforming and just see if I could get that last piece. I should have done that. I should have, I like, that would have been the stream hype moment if I pulled it off. Grandpa's Gambit is next, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Oh shit. Now see, okay. I talk shit on Exodia decks because I think that they, I mean, Grandpa's you know, Gambit they're dumb. But Grandpa's Gambit, I respect because it is a very interesting and there's like a lot more room for like, like, like there's more room for misplay on both sides. It's a, it's mu it's a much more like interactive MTK. It's a real deck. It, it yeah. has a decent win rate. <laughs> It's very fun. I think you guys will like it. It's a bit more confusing to wrap your head around than uh, Exodia is, but it's not that confusing. Hey, chat. I got a quick surprise for you. Huh? Well, we can't see it. Is he 
shown? What is he shown? Nothing right now. It's just a T. Damn, his chair is trapped in the Shadow Realm too. We've got to have a place to sit. Uh. <laughs> oh no, they got Doby! Oh got shit, he's they trapped him! Ugh. He's getting big. <laughs> that dog is big! No, he's looking at me. Hey, that's puppy. Puppy? He's puppy. Yeah, he's not even a full year. He's that's eight true. months old. He's like eight months old. Dog is crazy. He doesn't know what's going on. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, please go bye, please. Dolby. <laughs> but bye, bye, Dolby. Bye, bye, Dolby. My bad, dog boy. Chat, uh, we will answer all of your expert Yu-Gi-Oh questions for experts. Mm -hmm. But we will only answer questions about Yu-Gi-Oh, so you have to make them about the game. Yeah, I ain't answering anything. Else. What's your favorite OTK? Wait, I don't know. I've been playing with Dolce's lately. That deck's pretty funny. Uh, your Draco's... What's the, what's the dumbest Yu-Gi-Oh effect? The fucking bell. Next question. Did you hear that? I heard you. Get that guy out of here. Wait, lost because he didn't believe in the heart of the cards. Hmm. He really didn't believe. No, he didn't. He wasn't That's believing at all. He didn't even know what deck he was using. Until, like, halfway through. Are you fucked if you only play Cardians and Neo Spaceians? No, I feel like Master Duel, like, legitimately, the ranking system in Master Duel is so lenient that you can probably get to Plat 5 playing anything above literal garbage. Because, like, it's a numbers game. Eventually, you'll find enough people that, that just give up against you for no reason that you will climb. Oh yeah, I remember now. One of the worst cards in the game is uh, Neo Spacey and Marine Dolphin. Neo? You know, I don't know that one off the top of my head. It's like it's like a fusion monster that you make out of Neo Spacey. Oh, Neo Spacey and Aqua, Aqua Dolphin. No, is it? No, oh. it's Marine Dolphin. Is so it? it's something. It's something that is like supposed to be the evolved form of Aqua Dolphin. But the thing is that it's arguably worse than Aqua Dolphin. And its name counts as Aqua Dolphin, so if you run it, you have to have fewer Aqua Dolphins in your deck. Huh. Uh, what does Pot of Greed do? It lets you draw two cards from your deck. Next question. Can you eat the cards? No... Well, in real life, but this is a video game. Don't be dumb. Get real. Get real. Get real. Thanks and to the person Tug, that gave me- you made a coin slash dice deck. Any suggestions for gamblers? Uh, don't play a coin slash dice deck, because it's not very good. It is funny, though. It's pretty funny. I won one time with a Dice Jar. Your literal first match with The first it. time. So Dice Jar is a flip effect monster. That's effect is each player rolls a dice. Whoever gets the higher number inflicts damage to the other person. Uh, and if you get really lucky and can do that twice, you can win if you roll a six both times. Which I did once. It was but great. never again. You were so excited you said you wanted that duel on your headstone. Yeah. Pot of Greed actually good. Yes, Pot of Greed is a card that if it's not banned, there's no reason not to run it. Which is why it's banned. I think at one point it was at one copy. Which was just kind of stupid because it just meant every single deck just had 39 cards instead of 40. 
What are the stars on the cards? That is their level. Well, it depends, actually. If it's anything but the black cards, that's just their level. If it's on the black cards, that means it's their rank, which is basically the same thing. Same but different. Are higher level cards tastier? Maybe. I haven't eaten one. Frog, can you tell the audience the story about why there's a card limit? Because there used to not be a card limit, and so somebody brought a deck to hey. a tournament that was so big, you needed two people to carry it around. It was literally and over 2,000 cards. What was the and win so, con? I don't uh, time, even remember. For, ti timing the... Because it was like a physical tournament, tournament, so they would run the clock and then like force draws or make people give up. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. He I played. Mean, he he, he played deck. the Let's... true no fun allowed deck. So, so, so there was a, there wasn't a deck limit, but could you have more than three copies of a card? No. What? Damn. No, you've never been able to have more than three <laughs> so copies of a card. A, so that deck sucked. Like, yeah. How? Yeah, it was literally just there to card... stall for time. But I feel like, couldn't he just get killed in that time? You just pick, like, all cards that search for something in the deck. Because every yeah, time you search for something in the deck, you have to shuffle guess... it. Oh. Imagine how long it takes to shuffle, to shuffle a 2,000 it? card deck by Hold hand. On. Yes, you have to I'm shuffle gonna, it. I'm gonna get the picture. The picture... Okay. Yeah, find, find the picture. Here's the thing. I said this the other day. Magic the Gathering is a game that I feel like is more fun to play in person than online. Yu-Gi-Oh! is the exact opposite because in-person Yu-Gi-Oh! Anytime you search, you have to shuffle your deck afterwards. Chat, look at this. This is what every card in Yu-Gi-Oh! does. It fucking searches. You have to shuffle your deck nine million times a game. Yeah, there's that's, the picture. That's them holding the deck. What yeah, dude this? looks like someone that would be running a deck. I don't like know what that. year this was. If I remember oh, correctly, one of these the people, two are like, geniuses. One of the, one of these two people was actually like a like a, a judge for Yu-Gi-Oh events. Yeah. Just like, hey, you know, there's no rule for this. I'm gonna show them why it needs to be a rule. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne, you dropped your burger card. That fucking rules. Uh, no, don't worry. That'll pop. That'll matter soon. All right, folks. <laughs> it's time for Yu-Gi-Oh. I hope you guys had an, uh, a very Bless informed discussion with my friends about the game, and then uh -huh. we learned a whole uh -huh. lot. And now uh, it's time to uh, show you up the ante. Grandpa's Gambit. This is Exodia. Grandpa's Gambit. We've this gone is... beyond Exodia. Exodia, we've lived our childhood dream. Yeah. Wayne, you Exodia like is an FTK deck, Sonic game uh, the TV. but it is, I mean, this is, it is fairly inconsistent. This deck, Grandpa's Gambit, Aka Pop Quiz, this is the real <laughs> shit. This is, this is the deck. This, I almost got to plat with this deck. I got to gold one and then ranked all the way back down to gold five. Uh, it is still, it is still very luck based, but there is more skill in Grandpa's Gambit than there is in Exodia. And you'll see why. Or maybe you won't because you're on second. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Somebody in chat asked, what's the deck limit now? 40 minimum, 60 maximum. All right. So in our first hand here, uh, we do have Perform Pal Popper up. Uh, which is good. We got Contract with Down Thousand, Dark World Dealings, and Pseudo Space. This guy's setting and passing. This is an Eldritch. I think you should play this game, like th this this one game, without explaining anything. Okay. Without, without explaining anything explicitly. And let's see if people can figure out maybe what, what the win condition of this deck is. I literally do not remember the win condition. So Wayne has almost won right now, I'll say. But he has run into a, an issue. Oh, they're playing fucking Time Lords. <laughs> well, let's see what these traps are. Yeah. Oh, I remember the win condition. Hit me with that time, Lord. Oh, what and, that and nothing. 
Wait, oh. Wayne wins. <laughs> Wayne just won. <laughs> hey, everybody in chat, you'll never guess, but Wayne probably won. There's a small chance okay, he did okay. it. Will we get Grandpa's Gambit? This is why the deck is called Grandpa's Gambit. Fuck! The first <laughs> fucking try! No. God damn it! Oh my god! We lose, actually. <laughs> so it turns out we lose. Bro. <laughs> what are the fucking odds? You know, I should have stayed. I, sh I probably could have actually played that out because that guy was running some weird bullshit and had a Time Lord on the field. Uh, that was Grandpa's Gambit. All right, don't worry. We'll do it again. Maybe you'll figure it out next time. We're still not going to explain it. Yeah, win once and then we'll explain it. The card names alone make this deck hilarious. Kunai oh, we got to go first. Our opponent might not get to play the game at all. Great. <laughs> Great. Somebody asked, is Grandpa a ninja? In a way, kind of. We That's what we like to think about about it, you know? I'm going in the fun zone. Here. I'm going in the Grandpa zone. Subscribe to me, please. Mm -hmm. please subscribe to me. All right, now, drawing a library in the starting hand Kunai is good. It change. does reduce the chance of what happened last time happening again. Let, 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 let Wayne focus. There, this deck actually needs concentration. Like, you have to sequence correctly. Pretty easy. Yeah, I mean, y'all can talk. talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm, I'm in. I like the tension, though. All right, Wayne is very close, very close to winning. <laughs> no, I'm not. There's still, there, there's still a lot of factors. Yeah. Actually, that's true. You, you need, you need some. I'm still trying to find that your opponent reads the card card, but you guys don't ever shut up about Yu-Gi-Oh. I have to keep scrolling. Yeah, I, I gave up scrolling in that channel because I I got bored. Did it even get posted in that channel? I think so. I posted it. Grandpa! Grandpa! Nice, okay, so you that's a good sign. This is good. This is good. Having Grandpa not in the no. deck is incredibly important. Ooh. This might be good. No, it's good. We got a good chain going here. I want that. That's a little, a little Don't too early. Don't want to see that one, though. Good, good. Okay. Ooh. Uh, actually, that's, no, that's those pretty are good. good, right? Two chicken games yeah, yeah, yeah. Graveyard. Yeah, two chicken I games, found a two trunk. virtual worlds. That's... So the chat says, I am so incredibly lost. Good. Okay, this is actually... I have to be careful you... what I do with that contract with 1,000 because the you amount the of math. cards I have you set the... is super important. Have you done the math? No, no, it's not a matter of losing health. It's a matter of filling, like... I only have so many set cards on the field and I need to... I need to leave spaces open. Okay, hold on. I think, Ooh, I think I we're think set. You, I think uh, you got it, right? So I can, I can 1,500... And uh, I have 1,700 worth. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, we win. You win. I think we you win. win. Yeah, we win. All right, watch and learn, everybody. This is how you play Yu-Gi-Oh. This is why Pegasus sent me to the Shadow Realm. I did this to him. Damn, really? And this is where Ancient Mufri comes in. Grandpa, throw the shurikens! Here comes the Grandpa shuriken! The necklaces and the shuriken! And throw the necklaces at him! The enemy. It's over. That okay. is Grandpa's Gambit. That's that's Grandpa's Gambit. By the so, way, Wayne, I found your card for you. Oh, you did? Let me get that shit on screen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This <laughs> is such Holy a good image. Like kudos. Big, big fucking kudos to whoever made this picture. This is- before you play Yu-Gi-Oh, look at this image and then you can play Yu-Gi-Oh. This is effectively- well, actually, reading the card can't save the opponent in, uh, what we just did. Uh, so that was Grandpa's Gambit. Uh, Grandpa's Gambit is called Grandpa's Gambit not because of its win condition. In fact, Grandpa's Gambit is the name of its loss condition. Uh, yeah, that's true. So Gra Grandpa's Gambit revolves around one card primarily called Reversal Quiz. Uh, which has some of the best card art in the game, just some of the just top quality card art. Yeah. Uh, really I don't know. What, I still haven't figured out a name for this guy, but I want to name it. 
Uh, it's called Reversal Quiz FTK? No, it's not. It's called Grandpa's Gambit. Don't correct me. Uh, the uh, So what this card does is when you activate it, it sends every card you have into the graveyard, everything in the field, everything in your hand, it all goes to the graveyard, and you have to call Monster, Spell, or Trap. And whichever one of those you call, it checks the top card on your deck. And if it's whatever you called, it swaps your life points with the opponents. So the point of this deck is to get your life points as low as possible while simultaneously drawing as many cards as you can. And then the win condition comes from these shurikens. At the very end, Grandpa throws these shurikens. Before you swap your health points, you set the shurikens down. When these shurikens are sent from the field to the graveyard specifically, it inflicts 700 damage to your opponent. For some reason, the way that the effects sequence in Yu-Gi-Oh! is because you play Reversal Quiz first, it swaps your life points, and then it resolves the damage from the shurikens. So you swap their life points down to 7,000 or, or, or 1,000 or whatever you want, and then it throws the shurikens and they die instantly. Uh, it is a much, it is surprisingly consistent too. See, this is it's a 42. Uh... Except there is a, this is a 42 card deck. 40 of the cards are spell cards. I have made modifications to it where I've added two monster cards that add a two in 42 chance, uh, a one in 21 chance of this strategy not working. That is a very small chance. It's very, very small. Uh, if the top card of my deck, if I do not draw my two monster cards, Grandpa and Royal Magical Library, and as you saw the first time I played this, if it flips and it checks that the top card is a monster card, uh, your health points do not swap and you lose every card you have. Effectively, you lose, right? Now, it's called Grandpa's Gambit because the chance is so low, it adds another level of gambling. If you win, <laughs> you, use, you use Reversal Quiz to kill them by Grandpa throwing the shurikens at them, right? If you lose, you top deck Royal Magical Library, and that fucking sucks. But if you top deck Grandpa, that's Grandpa's Gambit. If you flip it and it's Grandpa there, you don't win the match, but you win in your heart because you you have you have <laughs> you you receive grandfatherly love. Ancha Mufri, it if you get Grandpa's Gambit, it's such a small chance that it's like you might as well have just won the slot machine. Even if you don't win the match, it's special. This is Grandpa's Gambit. I have only ever actually achieved Grandpa's Gambit once ever. It's only ever happened once. Uh, only a few people saw it, because I think it was late at night and not everyone was here, but it happened once. <laughs> and I have gotten the library. I think the one that you saw on stream was like the third time that's happened. Uh, but the win rate is pretty high. Uh, it It's probably around 50. Like, I, I, I don't think it's over 50, because if it was over 50, I'd be in platinum by now. Uh, but this deck, I, I, I've gotten like a six win streak with this deck. It's really, really good. Um, of course, it's As not you can better see, than playing the meta, but, you know. Wayne is a big fan of taking FTK strategies and making them less consistent with his own additions. <laughs> For the fun factor. Well, no, here's the yeah, thing. Exactly. Royal Magical Library, I could take Ancha Mufried out and leave Royal Magical Library in, and it would be, like, so much more consistent rather than inconsistent. Because the Royal Magical Library, if you luck out and you do get that, it gives you so much draw power in a deck where every single one of your cards is a spell. Like... When I added the library in, I, this deck actually became way more consistent. Like, Trog was joking, but no. When I added the library, Dude. this deck got way better. Uh, it just adds a small chance. Oh my god, this is an Exodia player. We are up against Pandexonium. This guy is about to... Let's see if he can beat us in our own game. All right. FTK versus FTK. So This, this is the degeneracy of fucking Master Duel so Gold League. <laughs> This guy is playing an Exodia deck that revolves around this card, Treasure Panda, which allows you to banish spells from your graveyard and uh, special summon normal monsters. So what this deck tries to do is special summon each arm and leg of Exodia onto the field, then dump them in the graveyard, and then pull them back into your hand. We win. No. Sad. They break their oh. deck instantly. Somebody FTK asked, means first turn FTK kill. FTK is first turn kill. What the FTK fuck is first this? Turn. <laughs> that is a fucking. Can you put <laughs> that in your deck, please? Toshigo. I'd like to see. I'd like to see Tatsu no Toshigo <laughs> in your in your deck, please. <laughs> That's that is by far the strangest card it's given me as a post game reward. I've never seen this card in my Stallion life. Fish. I really That's like crazy. the description. Someone in chat says it has a retrain. 
Really? Does it really? Yeah, not only was that card fucking bizarre, but it also was a level 5 with 1350 <laughs> It was the attack. worst card I've seen in a <laughs> while. Is that a water horse? <laughs> Kinda. That card is just called Seahorse in Japanese, is that what that means? Spoose Common Chat really says funny. Data's painting makes me feel ill. Data's painting <laughs> is making me feel dizzy. <laughs> Alright, really good starting hand. <laughs> awesome. Well, minus the fact that we have two of these perverts, but... Uh, Give them VIP for that. Can you do it? <laughs> I don't think so, I think only you can. What the hell? Excuse me, I'm burping because oh, I'm enjoying delicious polar seltzer. Utopia deck. Why am I fighting a gramophone? No, that's not my opponent. That's their pet. Wow. I mean, this, it doesn't even make a noise. The personally, gramophone pet doesn't even make a noise. That's insane. I love it. I said it as my pet today. I love how shitty it is. Personally, I like the dartboard because I think it's the most pathetic and it puts my opponents off balance because they think I'm going to be an easy target because I have a fucking dartboard as my pet. Since Mira told me that Gergiano plays rock, paper, scissors with you, I haven't looked back. I used to be, I used to use the pot of greed, uh, but I don't, paper, be tied, gotta go again. Scissors, fuck! He's kicking your ass today. Gershi, he's good, man. He's good. Mm -hmm. He knows all the moves. Damn it, he tied again! Oh! oh, it was nuts to think I could ever learn this crazy game. I was Girl, nuts to was think scissors. I could ever learn this crazy game. Damn, second Utopia deck? I imagine Joey Wheeler doesn't know scissors as an option, an option in Rock, I'd Paper, I'd probably scissors. lose. Utopia usually gets out in the gates that can beat me. I don't actually know what the fuck this deck does. Here's Joey voice is very good. Yeah, it is. No, thank you. One of his best impressions. It's a shame it can be used so rarely. Like it's not, it's not, it's one not that a, comes not a very, often. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna say it now. Feeling. I'm not gonna say this is an official announcement cause I don't know when we're gonna do it, but next week, maybe, I think we're gonna revisit Yu-Gi-Oh! VR. I've, yeah. I've, like, playing this game and watching the show has given me a, a gnawing hunger to go back to that game. Because now we're going in with new eyes. We all know so much more about this game than we did when we played it three years ago. Well, I know about the same amount. I think yeah, you guys you, may have You learned. understood okay. the game. I mean, you're the one in the video who's going, like, you can't summon a bunch of monsters in one turn. Like, you were the one correcting me. I am excited to roll my dice again, though. Yeah. I'm excited to flip my coin. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to play this match. Like, things like Metaverse are fucking stupid. Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg are fucking stupid. What people want is they want dual monsters. <laughs> let me, let me, like, honestly? Give the people the their VR dual game? monsters. Where's the VR game that lets me play Magic the Gathering or Yu-Gi-Oh with the holograms that, like, hurt me? <laughs> I want the holograms to shove me. Well, Do you think I can get him to negate chicken game? Chicken game. Uh, maybe, yeah. Right, maybe you so can here's the it thing. Out. I have a shot, but it depends on what this guy chooses to negate. I have the ability to have my life points, I have the ability to deal 700 damage to him, and I have the ability to, to lower my health points by 1,000. Do this... Do the second lowest priority spell okay, and well, then hold on, hold on, name hold on, hold to like hold on, hold on, hold on. him into thinking you're doing something. So here's the thing. I'm going to wait and pause to make him think I'm thinking very hard about my turn. And the first yeah, thing I'm going to play yeah. is cybernetic fusion support. Now, I need to I need to reconfirm. Pay half your life point is before the semicolon. That means it's the cost, yeah, right? You, so that happens yes. no matter what. Yeah. Up front. Right. You might be able to bait him out into, into negating this card. It, you, they might Is he gonna do, do it. it? Come on, yes, do it. Bitch. Yeah, you dumb Get bitch. Him, <laughs> son. You fell for it. This ain't no fusion machine deck. What is that? They're just doing another exceed. See, no, now I'm worried that he's gonna pull out another he's negate. He's a jazz fusion, man. Most negates are hard. <laughs> Someone fucking Luminous 
just as the chat just pointed out, I literally don't have an extra deck. This bait doesn't make any sense. People oh don't my pay God. attention. <laughs> Bro, Yu-Gi-Oh players in charge of paying attention to the game. Please pull out it. Please pull out a Utopia that doesn't have a good negate. It's probably gonna be the uh the rank four. Okay, yeah, no, that's guy. good. Utopia just negates attacks. And he can't like yeah. keep going on this turn, right? He took it! <laughs> he took it! He did they did take it. I that that's a hard once per turn, right? That negate. Yeah, that's just once per turn. This one can't negate. No, I'd this like one negates attacks. I'd like to point out that it's still your turn, and he's like... He's got some other... Re he has something else he can do. Oh, fuck. No, I think he is going to continue his summons. He's going to get out Utopic Draco Future, which I think just negates monster effects. I'm pretty sure that's a monster. Why can he chain this? I Fucking Utopia's dumb. Not meta, but it's dumb. Oh, no, he's doing something. I don't know what he just did. Okay, I think he just... He, get, he got well, a free I made all. the right, biggest brain play of all time. What a dipshit. Yeah, what a dunce. All right, he has no response. You're, you're free to go. You're free right, to roll with to win. It. Time to show this guy who's boss. Before I pop her up, I win. Wait, no. I don't. No, you need one more shuriken. That's true. Fuck. Don't worry. It's in the next It's the Does next. You have another yet. pot to throw. Just kidding. I got to get rid of it. Yeah, do that. Maybe yeah, play all the two. just draw an Ash Blossom. Ooh, Throw totally all the tunes and then Dark World the last okay, okay. tune. Yeah, oh wait, no, that's the discard. Hold on, hold on. One shuriken, one pendant. Shit. Okay, so there's only two shurikens left in the deck. So, all right. So I'm gonna cycle through my tune table of contents, and this will check. Wait, the there's only reaction. one shuriken left reaction. in the deck. You have one in your hand. That's true. That's even worse. Uh, and I don't have the means to have my life points anymore. Using that first was actually really bad because the the ability to have your life points is the where the skill factors into this deck. You need to time that so perfectly. All right, so now we perform. You didn't get a choice. Room. Wait, no, that'll kill me. Oh, shit. Yeah, careful on. now. I can Don't, only take uh... 2k damage. I'm. That would have been really funny to happen on stream, but I'm glad I caught it. You're going to perform pal over just... I mean, I guess that's... Oh god, how long have I had this stream done. running in two tabs? I don't think once? I think it's done. You can't do Ugh, it. Oh damn! You can die. Why, why why not? Well, he can't play any more cards. The one draw My spell he has costs move. a thousand life points. Oh fuck. You Take can play this. it. Contract with Don Thousand! <laughs> oh shit. Bad. Chicken game does not protect me. They can destroy chicken game. Although I could have gambled on chicken game. You still yeah. made that guy you look like an idiot. Chicken so game you won. Gamble, yeah. They didn't yeah, notice your extra the deck. They might not notice chicken That's game. That's true. They did not notice your extra deck. Here's the thing, Gert. He didn't like. He he didn't even know that I made him look like an idiot. He thought he was being smart. He like I never even showed I him what my win con was. I just you did made that him and look... killed myself. Like you still I look. I you used made to him. You just showed two almost two dozen people that this guy doesn't know how to read. <laughs> True. This library turn time. one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's yeah. the best time possible to get library. It's basically yes, the only happens, thing you want. It happens way more than it should, honestly. I, I think I think getting a library out on like in your opening hand like usually means that you oh, That's win. right. Yeah, no. I I I, I misspoke. It wasn't no, even no, no. reading. He just oh, couldn't wait. see objects. It doesn't matter. It's not the activation. It's the play. You know, when you put it on the field. What are you got? What are y'all doing? You had a library draw. What are you talking about? Yeah, but about? it but it doesn't. It doesn't matter. Activating activating pseudo space doesn't. It's give when you, you a put your counter. field spells on yeah, the field. Yeah, it's whenever you, you play the, the spell. Whatever. Not activate it. Grandpa's Whatever. Grandpa's here. Grandpa's gambit. We we passed the hurdle of Grandpa's gambit. We bested it. Two tokens to draw from. Whatever. Ooh, two reversal what? quiz is kind of bummer. I mean, I have Dark World Dealings. <laughs> I'm set. Like, I just you need do to... have. You're you're pretty good. If Ew. you can just get one more shuriken in your hand, then like, and then, but then you need a way to lower your life. Uh, only one pendant in the banished pool, so that's good. Uh, let's Dark World. You know, Wayne, it's a shame I'm I don't live in Texas because I would definitely find some way to sneak a pot of avarice in your cabinet a real one yeah they I, want, I want like a mug like i want you to like go to get a cup and there's just a pot of avarice staring you in the face hey i would love that <laughs> <laughs> all right that you card's have... a freak but like i love the way they all look oh wait did you i have... finish both my okay no there's still there's still a cybernetic fusion support in the in my deck 
Yeah, you you just need life lowering spells now. No, I don't live in Texas. I live pretty fucking far from Texas. The, the Texas team is me, Trog, Log, Mira, Kami, Kami. Uh, Trevor, Trevor also. He Trevor's not really like a part of RTVs, but he is by extension, you know. Subscribe to me, please. Please. No, I just visit please. Texas now and then. I do not live there. Uh hmm. Okay, I can I can lower another 2k. 3k actually. You're getting there. <clears throat> we made a TV docks moment. Yeah, I docked myself by having the, all my one friends of the in biggest the same room. find us. All right, well, I'm, there's uh, a popper up. Yeah, but I'm popper of, up is like popper well, will kill him. Well, no, here's I'm the thing. I'm going to set my shurikens. Set. No, yeah, I'm popper up lets me win. Yeah, I, I win. Need, I need good, to take right? this 4k damage and I win. Kick this guy's ass. I'm part of RTVS North. Yeah. All right, that's game. GG, shake I my hand. I can't remember. Isn't there some weird thing where if I normal, if I summon Ancha move free? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. There's so. Yes. Don't. Uh, don't do don't, it. You, here's a tip. If you ever run Grandpa's Gambit, which you probably never will, because if you run Reversal Quiz, I don't think you would run a Grandpa, because you'd probably just follow the decklist online and not my decklist. If you run G Grandpa's Gambit, never ever summon Grandpa before you finish the game. <laughs> Summoning Just Grandpa don't. will brick your win. Because when you summon, when when Grandpa comes onto the field, there is only one place left for him, Hell. If Grandpa goes on the field, Grandpa has to go directly to Hell. Reversal Quiz will, will want to send him to the graveyard, and because it can only send him to Hell, it will stop you from casting the card and winning the game. Grandpa. Goodbye, Grandpa. Oh, I didn't get to click on him in time. Wait, no, he's still there. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa, for Thank you, throwing Grandpa. your shirt Chat, say yet Thank again. you, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa sits in his rocking chair and he throws shurikens at my enemies. I have more decks to show you. You know what? The only after after Grandpa's Gambit, the only decks I have left to show you are the ones that are like real decks. I wonder yes. if you're ever gonna. I wonder if you're ever gonna fight any special please, duelists. Please, the hell does that mean? Please, please, please. I, I know what that means, don't I? You do. Shit, Chad, we might have a surprise for you at the end of the night. Maybe. <laughs> sure is a surprise. Pote of Grant. This guy has no responses. And I have two performed about popper ups and a pot of desires and a contract with a thousand. <laughs> Wait, hey Trog, do you see what someone in the in the chat said? Yeah. <laughs> uh. What are the odds? Back C! Oh no! Oh no! Uh... Now, if you special summon Grandpa, they'll draw a card. Oh, Max C challenge! Here we go. So there is a it's scary. Not, there is I see Max Gambit's challenge. challenge. There is it's something the scary challenge. that could happen with this deck, chat. So when you play the pervert pot, the pot of perversion, <laughs> uh, you banish ten of your cards to draw two. There is a chance that all three of your reversal quizzes or all of your shurikens can be banished, and if that happens, you lose instantly. You, you do just lose. However, there are rare situations in which you can get a grandpa special hit. If you get Grandpa's special hit, you might be able to win without the help of Reversal Quiz. Very rare, Which, but it can The definition happen. of Grandpa's special hit is where you manage to win with Ancha Mufri's attack power, which has happened to me twice, I think. <laughs> Ancha Mufri does not have much attack power. <laughs> Grandpa's so special like hit off of this pervert. Like he's an, he's can, 1800 you can't attack. attach the you can't attach the black pendants to him. It's true. You can make Grandpa stronger with with his necklaces. Bro, can you just? I see your Max C. I know what you can do. This fucking. Yeah, but that would require them to have read Dawn Thousand, and there's no way they read that. But he can see me drawing my cards. Yeah, well, that's true. I guess maybe he doesn't realize that I can see his. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. It doesn't, like, notify you that you are showing your cards to the opponent at all. Like, it's well, just I mean, up to you to, like, realize all that. All I have to do is read. <laughs> it's, like, it's not that hard. 
You know, I remember when you first got a Don Thousand card, and all you did was just laugh at the name. It's a good name. Contra you had Don no, Thousand. You had no idea how. And it turns out he's the main villain of yeah. fucking Sexual. Of one of or the animes, yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. yeah, I don't. I I had to look up who Don Thousand was. That's funny. It's just a really silly name. I I know a bunch about original Yu-Gi-Oh. I know a little bit about GX. All my knowledge ends there. Yeah, I did never <laughs> watch the one where they ride motorcycles or whatever. No, all my information about Zexel or whatever the fuck is from a bridge series. I think Zexel is the one he's where Maxine, they did the He's, he's on right? Grandpa and Maxine. I don't fucking know. <laughs> fuck yeah. Blossom, you asked my grandpa. No, five D's. Oh, five D's was a grandpa. Grandpa's way field now. Wait, hold think. up, hold up, hold up. Isn't oh no, they they their own Max C? Max Max C? Max C? He got bored. Surrender. So he's gonna scoop. Surrender. I think they did it for fun. No. They don't know how to turn their reactions off, so they had to empty it. Maybe they're like playing on iPad where you can't turn the reactions off for some reason. Oh, did the mobile version come out? I'm gonna draw three. I think the Android version is out. It's on hmm. iOS too. Why is it called scooping? I think it's just called scooping because you just like scoop the cards up. You know? Yeah, you're scooping. You just, like, you scoop your cards scooping. And leave the table. All right, all right. Let me teach I you. Lose. Let me teach you. Please. Let me teach you. This is not game relevant. Hold on. It, it, you can do this in any game. It's called scooping because the like most efficient way to get. Fun. To pick up your cards awesome. and get out of your opponent's face is to take your hand, separate it into two All right, two there's a chance here, Wayne. What Wait, no, there hands? is a chance. You're right. You're Could right. Put it, set, we're gonna, we're gonna swap quiz. Quiz. Hold on, Bob. We're gonna, no, 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 no. We're going to swap. If I can't set my reversal quiz. I need to play because this guy has Imperial Order. If, if he plays this card, none of my spell cards will work anymore. But I can bank. This might be an Eldritch player who might not be able to play any monsters on their first turn. I can play Ancha Mufri next turn yes. and get Grandpa's special hit. I think you do it. Swap the health and just go for it. Why not? The fastest way to pick up your cards is to take your hand, put into two, separate out into, into two, one in each hand, and like literally scoop up your cards. All right. Well, okay, now they literally can't play Imperial Order because they only have 300 life, so that's Oh funny. shit, they can't! That's funny, I didn't even think yeah. of that. I think they actually could still play it, but during their next standby, or during your standby, it would, it would explode. Another Utopia, what the fuck? Oh, well, well, there, goes, there goes any chance of Grandpa getting What in. the fuck was that other car? Why Zuzu are these Zubaba? people fucking... Why oh yeah, this is, so this is Zubaba Zuba Bancho Gaga Gako. And he probably has another card, a card, a card in his deck called uh, Dodo Do Dwarf Go 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 Bluff. <laughs> Zozo Go only, ba, 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 if you yes. control, Let me read this card. If you control a Zubaba or Gagaga -ga -ga monster, except Bubaba -ba -ba -ga 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 Coat, while this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card. You can target one Go 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 or Dodo Do monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except XYZ monsters. You can also use each effect of Zubaba -ba Bancho Gaga -ga -ga Code once per turn. I feel like this guy no, no, might be able to OTK you. Maybe. You made that card up. It was on the screen. It was there. It's right there. <laughs> right there, it's real. <laughs> <gasps> He's keeping his fucking ZS Ascended Sage out! No way. No way. No Why way. are you passing? What is he doing? Does he have something that negates attacks, maybe? Well, that's not. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, it's, it's gonna this or nothing. A shuriken. I think you win. That's gonna be Imperial Order. I Grandpa! think you win, right? Grandpa, special hit! <laughs> what the fuck? This can't be right. No, they have something, right? <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> you Grandpa! did it! Grandpa! Nice. <laughs> Why did they play nice. that card? They, they definitely know. didn't know that Andrew Mufrit could come out of the extra deck. They didn't they know! Did they did not know Grandpa! <laughs> 
Dude, and you ranked I can't up off that. Believe it. Dude, I want to go back down to gold. <laughs> put, put me back. <laughs> I don't like plat. It's too hard. Everybody tries. Everybody plays hand traps. I want to go against the people that just misplay every game for no don't reason. Don't you have again. like 30 alts? Yeah, but they're all in bronze and it makes me feel really bad bronze when I play against people in bronze. Well, you just beat up a few bronzes and then get a gold. It makes me feel bad. I'm sorry. I don't want to ruin people's experience. I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Thank you, Grandpa. It's not my fault. Tell Konami to make the game less expensive so I don't have to make alts. Thank you. The game's pretty... Uh, I mean, that's... Generous. Generous. that's you, know, you know, the the beauty of these free-to-play card games is... You just have to wait to try to do it. You will be cold. I'm so proud of you, That's true. Mm. Here's to another great duel. I love you, Grandpa. I love you, too. Wayne's just like a main character from the show, just RPing with wow. his card. <laughs> <Fine smile. laughs> Alright. Alright. So, what, what are you going to show them next? When you're a little... uh, more Grandpa. <laughs> oh, uh... Yeah. As well, that ends well. Uh, hmm. You could play your... your... Time Lord train deck. I have three more. I'll play... I'll play my time... my, my Tonka time. That is one of the ones I advertised in the stream. So chat, uh, this is Tonka time. Time to play a real deck. You this might is, actually play the actually, game of Yu-Gi-Oh now. This is the first deck where we might play Yu-Gi-Oh. This deck, this deck is a little funny. It is called Tonka time, uh, but it is somewhat real. It's not meta. It's not even the most optimal, optimal form of this deck. This deck is a fusion of two different archetypes that usually never go together. Uh, and was, I actually found this on Reddit, so this isn't even completely my original creation. Um, but it is Tonka trucks, baby. It's construction equipment, Infinitrack. These Tonka trucks are paired with these gods of time, the Time Lords. Uh, and it actually makes for a pretty effective deck that puts, uh, that creates some pretty funny situations. I think this is a Skull Servant deck. Like, uh, this is, I feel like this is the deck that has, like, the most cases of people not reading the cards. Yes, it, it confuses people. Yeah, the Time Lords definitely make people turn their brains off for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think this is, oh, I, don't uh, know I think this is. is probably just, like, a pure just, zombie deck, Just regular honestly. zombies? Oh yeah, yeah, what the fuck? What is this this guy is a zombie deck. Are you fighting bones? What's going on? Oh, that's really good. When that's paired with Zombie World, that's incredibly strong. Once per chain, he can negate a zombie monster's effect, and everything on the field is a zombie. Shit. That is pretty goofy. Damn. Oh, I didn't. I don't have my my duster in this. Fuck. He's gonna negate the shit out of me. Can he negate your Time Lord though? Uh, it, not unless I have Infinite Machine out. I need I need Infinite Light. Uh. Wait, but. What is it? It's can't. Oh, it's just can't be destroyed. It's not that it can't be yeah, targeted. Yeah. Once it, he can't be targeted after uh after the trap sequence happens. Okay. Yeah. See, this is a zombie now. However, putting this out will stop him from like he won't be able to negate the the battle protection of the time lords. So Log was saying that this deck is the one that uh, has the most instances of people not reading the cards, and it's strictly because of these time lords, which are is my one of my favorite archetypes in the game, if not my favorite archetype. Uh, the Time Lords are really bizarre cards that have no attack or defense, most likely. They cannot be special summoned if you control no monsters. You can normal summon with this card without tributing, which is what we just did. He's a level 10 monster. We can just drop him in there. Uh, they have effects that activate when they battle. For instance, this one, after we battle, uh, we'll shuffle a card back into the field, uh, or back into the deck and deal 500 damage for that card. This is one of the weaker ones. Um, however, it's going to be negated by Baldurok. I don't know how we're going to deal with that. That's like incredibly strong. I I don't I don't have the removal for Zombie World. My removal would be in the monsters. Yeah, people don't run a whole lot of back row destruction right now, so certain decks that uh. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, well, there you well, go. There goes his there goes his setup. Okay. I don't know why he let me do that or didn't even give well, him the it looks like he didn't even that. have a reaction i he must not have been able to maybe maybe i don't, those, I don't know maybe what that his card does chain? i don't know why that happened 
That was weird. That's weird. Well, cool. I just fucked up Whatever. combo instantly. Now, wonder, here's the fun part. We get to see if they effect? attack oh, into... except during the damage step! Except during the damage step! Oh! I didn't see that. funny. So now we get to see if they attack into his Time Lord for no reason. Which, which they might do. Cool. It's very possible. That Time Lord's effect can't be negated. No, that's not true. Oh, wait, no! Neither player can activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's something about my own guard go. that I didn't know. Damn, you don't even read your cards. Wait, Apparently. did he just negate his own Yuna zombie? No, he is leveling up. Oh, he can do that to the time. Oh, okay. Right, because he's making his own chains. He can just banish me. That's that's okay. a really strong combo with Yuna zombie. Yuna zombie can cause two chains per turn. That's pretty good. Now who can't read the card? Ha ha. It's true. I don't know. They might. I don't know what this he, deck does. No I idea they, they can, can OTK, OTK or not. Oh, God. Come on. But they do have the zombie world again. Come on. I just got rid of that. I don't have it. I can't do that twice. I think I only have one Camion in the deck and Camion's in hell. Do you have, so, are you running like Lightning Storm or? No, I have not. Time, or... time to bounce. Well, no, the, o the other Time Lords probably have the same kind of... Uh, yeah, if you pull any storm. other Time Lord, you might be able to do it's it. It's true. What I if you pull the one that, like, bounces Zaphion, all back Zaphion bounces whatever. spells. Like, that... Yeah. Zaphion could do it. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like this, this is a nutty deck, though. Oh my god, he has another unit zombie out. I just realized that means he has four banishes per turn. Unless... No, because... No, yes. no, no. Because it's, it's hard once per turn. You can only use each effect of unit zombie once per turn. Oh, that means it's right. hard it's once per card. turn. It's not per card. Whenever it says the card's name, that means it's a hard once per turn. And you can't get around it. This is garbage. Can you... Uh, do I'll anything? Do, I'll do what I can. The He's balls are touching. Please, 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 please. The only way I've found any joy playing this game is running an Exodia off the deck with oh, like a fuck. one tenth chance. And I think Zombie World stops combo. me from from using these. No, it's special summons. They're not. You, you tribute the monsters, but it's still a special summon. Baldrock is also a hard once per turn per effect in, in chain. No, I thought it was one. It's just once per chain. It's the 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 once per turn. Wait, you can apply one of these effects, but you cannot apply that same effect. Oh, okay, so he gets to do he gets to do a negate and a he banish gets to once negate per turn. And a banish okay, once so per it's turn. not that scary. Uh, but Zombie World does stop me from special summoning these, which is fucked. Yeah. Uh <laughs> make your make your fun toy your little your little dozer. I lose. Uh, it's over. Yeah. That's a yeah. that's a strong deck. You win bones. Yeah, this game does have solo content. The, the solo mode is like, not, like, it, it's not going to be an experience. I don't know how I feel about ranks. the solo content. It's okay. Because like, here's the thing. I feel okay. like, I feel like the solo content is good until you realize that it, I feel like it does not really adequately prepare you for what <gasps> Choo -choo! modern Yu-Gi-Oh is like. Beep, beep. Oh okay. God. Originally, this deck was called Trains of Time, but it turns out I have more Tonka trucks than I do trains. But there are trains in the deck, and I bet Tonka does sell a train or two. Right? Probably. I think Tonka Time's a much better name overall. Is this your Gustav deck? This deck is less likely to get off. Well, no, this is the... Yeah, this is my Gustav deck. Paper. Yes, I feel like the Pokemon. other problem with the solo content is that the loner decks Ash they give you are all board. really bad, oh, so like it, it gets like hard in the end. Because it's like, it's just yeah, putting you up against so... an AI that just has way better cards than you do. Yeah, and you have to win oh, with Dragon the deck Man. that they give you to get all the rewards. There are, you you don't have to play with the loner decks though, you can play with your own yeah, decks. Yeah, you, you, can, you can just ignore the loner decks if you really want. 
Of course, the dude with the Ash Blossom back car backings has an Ash Blossom in their hand already. How would one get into Yu-Gi-Oh if the solo content doesn't? You, I don't think you finished that sentence. If it doesn't get you into Yu-Gi-Oh? I think it does. Like, it, it the, the solo content will be fun at the at, at start. Like, if yeah, you, if I you think just you can have fun doing it. Yeah. Download Master Duel, play the solo content for a bit, and if you like it, you can put a little bit of effort in and get into the ranked game. Like, it's not that hard to get into it. You just need to like look up a deck. This game will shit money at you. It gives you so much money. Yeah. The most important thing with getting into this game is like try and do a little bit of research before you just start spending gems. Ooh. Well, that gamma seal is really fucking good Geo. in this opening hand. Yeah. Cuz uh you cannot negate gamma seal. So uh that'll make them That'll, we talked about kaijus like two hours ago, but this is Gamma Seal, the sea turtle kaiju. And he is going to allow us to uh, get rid of their boss monster for now. There's probably a way for them to bring it back from the graveyard. I mean... It really, like, what they they want to put it back in the extra deck. If I play Camion, it'll shuffle it back into the extra deck. Gamma Sealing it is the best choice right now. And I can yeah. Camion Gamma Seal hey, back into my deck. I found your vids and VODs a few months back, and they've helped my mental health a ton lately. You are a real one. Dragon Maid's thing, or they kind of get to take a little extra mini turn at the beginning of your turn if they have their boss monster out. Yeah. Now it's my turn. Say goodbye to Shio! Bam! There he is. You like your cool turtle? So if they have a tidying in the grave, okay. Max C, huh? Well, I'm not special summoning anything. I think the best play is giving me my own Gamma Seal back. I think it is. Yeah. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? I, um, I don't yeah, the most important thing when starting this game is don't just spend a bunch of gems on random shit. Try and do a That's little bit of research I and made. figure out what kind of decks you like to play and then specifically go for that deck. Literally, I spent the equivalent of like hundreds of dollars of free gems this game gave me on garbage that I don't have anymore. Because I literally yeah. threw it all away because it was so bad. What is this guy doing? Did he just target the game? Uh, it's going to tiny? bounce you. But does that work? Because can't it be? Can it not be targeted? No, oh, it well, doesn't. It, it, it can be targeted, but not yet. Oh uh, right, right, right. But he kept. Well, his can't you just play it in main phase two? No, because I already used my normal summon. Oh, is it a normal, not a special? Oh, she got Shio back. Fuck. That's what tidying does, right? That's like. I'd probably lose now, maybe. To be fair, you didn't really have a better play. Yeah. That was just a good, they got lucky by having Tidy. What is that boss card of theirs? That was Chamber or whatever. Uh, their boss monster is a single, it is a single Omni Negate. So it can negate pretty much anything once. And, and it replaces it itself, itself with, with a, a weaker monster. monster. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, heavy forward to let me get an infinite track, but I can't summon it. I uh, already used my normal summon. Uh, I guess I just have to hope that they can't kill me. They probably can. I did give them a 2200 beater. Yeah. And all they have to do is summon a single dragon maid that puts one of the bigger ones into their grave, which is probably what they're doing right now. The first deck I made in Master Duel was a Dragon Maid deck because I thought that their playstyle was interesting. And it was. But um, then I decided that I wanted to make different control decks, so I dusted it. Have you ever looked at Inferno Tempest? I've never heard about that. The deck that literally removes all of your opponent's monsters from play in one quick play card. Inferno like, Tempest. all of them out of the deck? 
Th there's a crazy... I have a deck I that I haven't be made because it's something I just copied play. from an opponent. I went up against, like, some Korean player that just, like, was just milling themselves for, like, 30 minutes, and I had no idea what was going on. I thought they were just doing, like, some Exodia shit. And then all of a sudden, they played one card that just sent every card I had into the... just banished everything out of my hand and the field. And it, like... That's all it took to beat you because, like, just taking everything out of your hand is such a powerful play because, like, you have to top deck a perfect card to start your combo. Inferno Tep is when you take 3,000 more battle damage from one attack, you can activate the card, remove all monsters in each player's deck and graveyard from play. That's pretty fucked up. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Uh, hey, you want to stop? No, don't fusion summon! They're still going. They have game on the board, and they're still going. I guess they can't change the No, uh, they don't have game because of the defense, but yeah. fusion summoning will let them have game on the board. Now they have It's game. another Shio! Goodbye. <laughs> you don't need to swing. I know you lose. I don't care about getting my, uh, my three cards. I already got Horse got a Nuganu or whatever the fuck Yeah, you've was. got the best possible card I think you could ever get from this. <laughs> Uh, give them a kaiju with 3k attack, attack with a zero attack monster, Inferno Tempest, summon Grand Maju. That does sound fun. I will, oh, yeah. I will give you that deck list. Yeah, people have been playing some Grand Maju. I think it's like, it is, funnily enough, an actual deck that can, like, you know, win it's, a lot. Yeah. It's real. It's, it's very not easy fake. To it's not a gimmick. Lots of cards. Yeah. Another top deck game of seal. This is bad. Will you actually get to go? This, for is, this is a very shit starting hand. I can't do anything. I can just summon yeah, you this keep guy. keep starting with these fucking infinite machines and spin turns. That's like, that yeah. sucks. You still haven't even used that burger? I can link to uh, for this guy. Send one monster from your hand or grave. You target one level 10 machine monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. That doesn't really help. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this. Wait, I can activate this? I don't have anything in my hand. Oh, what? Wait, no, don't. I want to back out. I don't want to do this. Too late. No, no, I hate Yu-Gi-Oh! I lose. <laughs> what did you do? I don't even know what you did. That card, so that Tonka toy I put out lets me special summon an Earth Machine monster from my hand in defense position. The Speed Express Bullet Train has 3,000 attack, and it just lets you special summon it for free if there's Earth Machines on your field. Uh, so I by see. special summoning it in defense position, it would have had zero defense, and it would have just been bopped, where it would have been a 3,000 attack please wall. To me. Uh, please, please, please. Oh! Wow. You I'm always love- I love to think about the other side of that, because you always love to see your opponent play one card, activate it, and then just <laughs> stop playing. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. I gotta what? add this to my deck. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very important. Uh, okay. I can work with this hand. Oh, Andy it's you ba 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 da ba da ba ba. They're playing but the ba ba bas. It's another Utopia deck. That's the fourth is one. Ba 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 or go go go. <laughs> Squid Ant chat says they thought the burger was real. They thought I actually had that in my head. Wayne is has activated the secret ability to start every game with seven cards. With a sh with a weird burger card that has uh, <laughs> how much how much attack does it have again? Uh, it's got equal equal six. six. <laughs> yeah. Defense more. That's such a good picture. I know, it's too small. Honestly, you know what's fucked up? Looking at that card art makes me want a burger. It's yeah. it's making me hungry. Wait, they made Goga Gaga Gigo his own archetype? Uh, Dodo Dogo, Dodo Dodo Dwarf Go 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 Glove and uh, Zubaba Baba Bancho, uh, Zubaba Baba Gaga Gaga Go 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 Dodo Do uh, are all monsters. They're onomatopoeia monsters, and they correspond to the Utopia X Y Z cards. For some reason, I don't, I don't know really, why. I don't really understand I, the connection between that, but I did not play the game when these cards came out, so I don't know. I know they're from the anime. The main character of Zexel uses these. Yeah. 
Does that mean there are literal line deliveries of the main character going like, I play Zuba Baba Baba Gaga Gaga Gaga? Ga. Like... Fuck Jesse, off, what really? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, fuck yes. Fuck off. Maybe Zexel rules. We went we we went from Dark Magicians to Ba 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 Ga Ga Ga. They like, ran out of downgrade. monsters. They, ran, they were like, oh, we gotta make this new anime for the kids. What do we call the new archetype? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. Uh, Zozo go Bo Ba Bo Ba Bo. Yeah, just Zo Ba Ba Duba. Can we just play that video? Get Scatman John on the phone. We go against a Utopia <laughs> deck. I don't think I can. I think that video has copyrighted music in it. Boom, 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 boom. boom Make a boom. zombie go boom, 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 boom. These guys sure do be playing cards. I can't believe you've gone up against three of these decks. In a row. I see these did, decks. Did somebody all make the a time. fucking YouTube video no, or something? No, YouTube like... decks show up all the fucking time. People love this shit. Really? I never played against them when I was in gold. I think it might be like. Uh... Reborn the monster. This Midnight be, on this, Saturdays, the, the OG, fucking Utopia players come the people, out. The people who played when we were kids that want to try and get into the game but still want to like like cater to their like their childhood whims will play like the Blue Eyes decks. The Blue Eyes yeah. decks with the new support cards. I think these are the people that were like what that watched Zexel when they were kids. These are Maybe, like this yeah. is this is like the Gen Z old old head Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Whenever I was climbing gold, it was like fucking Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, and Thunder Dragons the whole way up. It was like... Crazy. Damn, I wish. It's a structure. There's a Utopia structure deck? Really? Oh. Well, don't buy the structure decks, because they're not very good. But Actually, this deck that's is a good. lot. I don't think this is a structure deck. I don't think the structure deck gives you URs. Like, not like this. It doesn't give you this card. Because, like, Utopia sure, actually well, does no, have some like, really good cards. If no, you want to make a does. Pendulum Magician deck, the, uh, the Pen Magician structure deck you just like buy three copies of it and you have like three fourths of the deck already you just have to fill out the extra deck that's cool Incredible. i really do oh, like yeah. pendulum magicians i think that's my favorite deck right now that deck why is it, funny why isn't your opponent just hitting you turn one you can't attack you cannot attack they are setting up their board like the, yeah, is going Utopia, to have Utopia a pretty hard time yeah, breaking is, through you guys a fucked up game because it's like, like Utopia, okay you it's like first. this is a, this is a lot attack. of the gates yeah, you, you guys are fucked up game. You can't attack turn one, so the optimal thing to do is make a board state where your opponent can't play. <laughs> yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game about creating interactions with your opponent. Oh, so wow. you never want to it's just land on a board where you just have a lot of monsters that smile. don't do anything, right? You want to land on a board that has a lot of monsters that stop your opponent from playing. I... Uh... Which is what they've done. Daphion is unfortunately not the time ward you want to see. Well, but also they have monster negates. So like, even if I, they, not only they have Utopic Draco Future, which is the one that negates and then steals the card. So like, yeah, once, once per turn, I can get out a level nine. Uh, I lose. <laughs> <laughs> see, here's the thing in Yu-Gi-Oh chat. You want to go first. That's, yeah, that's, that's my advice. Go first. That is unless, the best advice you can give to a new player. Unless you play this deck. You're gonna go pure time wards? Pure time. You might have more luck with pure time wards. This is a deck that gets mixed results, but it is one of my favorites. I like the time warp deck. It's fun. It's cool. It's fun concept. All hey, right, Nibiru, so wish you would have had that last game. <laughs> would have been able to play. Hey, going second with a Nibiru in hand's pretty good. Yeah, I doubt people in gold are going to be playing around Nibiru. Oh, fucking Clyford. I what? I've never played against this. So the, uh, this I deck ash? revolves around no, this. This deck is a skill drain deck that revolves around shitting out huge beat sticks that generally have negative effects hey, or are difficult to summon. I learned uh, a secret about skill drain with Time Lords. Time Lords love skill drain because they have Sandy on. Uh, the, I played up against a deck yesterday that literally all they did was put down skill drain and play Sandy on and turn him into a just it's just a free 4,000 4, beater. beater. Yeah. yeah, there he is. Well, they don't have it yet. 
I'm not going I'm to. I'm not sure this what the negates? cards do. You might want to read them. I don't think this is, this is a negate. Uh, what does their spell do? It has been much longer than this. The spell uh, three whole years. cannot be destroyed by battle. The equipped monster can be treated fondly. as two tributes for the tribute summon of a Cly monster. Uh, okay. I think you can do literally anything you want, because it does not look like yeah, they've landed on something here. anything. Uh, I'm going to go with a Time Maiden start. And we'll tribute the Time Maiden uh, to find a cool card in our deck. Who do we want? Honestly, I think we start with Micheon. Uh But if he plays Skill Drain and negates it, he can just hit through and kill me, which is scary. Uh... Now, I don't know if this person is playing the skill drain version of this. Yeah, you put that I'm, That's just head. the only way I've seen people play these cards. All right, we'll start with Micheon. Because we have a Sandion. If we can hit with Micheon twice, which I have Foolish Burial. You know what? Uh, you know what? I don't even need to use that yet. Uh, if this guy can't stop what I do, we win in two or three turns. Or actually, no. Let, let's use Pot. Pot doesn't stop. Pot makes you do half damage, but it doesn't stop... Uh, you from it, it like because this card just has their life points it doesn't affect that you get another sandy on doesn't stop burn damage let's take another sandy all right these three cards in sequence let us win so chat what this card does when it battles it has their life points that's all it does and that is an incredibly pretty strong good effect. it's really yeah. good it's good at the start of the game. Yeah. But now, these cards, these Sandions, when we play these guys and they battle, they do 2,000 damage. So if I get through two more turns and I'm able to attack with Sandion twice, oh, he's going even lower. Hmm. We ash that. Not even going to read it. Just like... I know he's adding cards to his deck. Yeah, like... it's true. It's true. There's basically almost never a wrong time to use Ash. Doesn't know what card does. I know what it does. It lets him draw a Cly card. Add one Cly card from your well, deck to your hand. you don't want to Ash your own Max Z like That's that. That's true. You do, the only time you don't want to Ash is when see, you're activating see what your own card. See? I Ashed it, and it broke his combo. He didn't do anything. You know what's perfect? This card can't be destroyed by battle. Hey, skill drain. Well, hey, buddy. You win. You Wait. literally win. You play no, your 4,000 meter and swing into him, right? I need to. Well, I need to blow up this card first. Is the thing because like I can't oh, summon Sandy until this guy gets away. Because you already have something. So I have to hope Dang. that attacking with him will make me. Is there make anything him die. you can foolish burial that would let you get it off the field? Uh, no. I can special oh, okay. summon other Time Lords, but only ones with zero attack. I think just uh, swinging into him will make him blow up, though, right? It should. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'll take 2,700. Fine by me. Meet my and meet then... my dad. <laughs> you fucked up, buddy. Yeah. Well, now they have to swing over a four thousand wall. There's no reason to set the trap. This trap can't be activated that, unless you have brick. infinite machine. It doesn't do anything. Okay, play rock paper scissors again. Time lords have. Oh, that's a good idea. What? Stop spinning. Scissors. Uh, <laughs> Time Lords have one support card in the entire game. Well, it's three support cards, but they're like, they're they're effectively one card. It's this infinite light trap setup where you have a card called Empty Machine, Infinite Machine, and Infinite Light. You have to play Empty Machine, use it to get out Infinite Machine, and then use Infinite Machine to get out Infinite Light. And if you get this card out, which takes like three turns, so it's not very good, it makes all your Time Lords untargetable by card effects, which is really, really powerful. And you can't destroy Infinite Light through normal means. You have to do it through like weird means like banishing or sending to the graveyard which doesn't always happen yo way you own that gear thanks Sonic that does Strike. 4, damage what happens if they zeus uh they can't zeus because of skill drain they zeus do these guys have exceeds i think i think maybe they're talking about infinite light is zeus's destruction or is it send a graveyard Zeus is non-destruction. It's non-destruction? I think it's I think just Zeus can get rid of Infinite Yeah, Light. that's why Zeus is good, is it's non-target, non-destruction. Yeah. That's why Time Lords are not meta. They're cool, but they're not meta. I wonder if this guy will be able to get out the beaters he needs. 
Well, he is confident enough to not okay. scoop. Nope. The effects are negated, bro. And I can actually, mm -hmm. I can start my machine combo. Or just, you could just win depending on what that face oh, down wait, is. Oh wait, he just dies. I didn't realize how low his life That face was. down has to be something or else why wouldn't they, yeah. But you get an extra turn because you have <laughs> two in your hand. Wait. Hey bro. Yeah, okay, so that they've bought, they have bought one turn. Check this out. Bah! Crazy how that works. <laughs> and once I get empty machine out, he can't do that again. This only negates the effects of monsters, not traps. So yeah, what Empty Machine lets me do, it has to be the only card in the spell and trap zone, which is so bad. This card is not good, uh, but it is important for Time Lords. The uh, If it's the only card you have in your back row, you need a Time Lord in your graveyard, which you pull out, and then it lets you set the second trap in the series. And I would need another Time Lord if I didn't have this in my hand, but because I have this, hey, I win! Yay, Time Lord! And that Lord. was a, honestly an interesting Time Lord match. I didn't expect to be skill drained like that, but Sandion is a fucking beautiful card. Yeah, skill drain uh, helps if you have that one specific card. You hear that, chat? No. What is that? I hear a phone ringing. Who's calling me? What is this? Wait, how do I pick up the phone? I don't Hello? know what you're doing. Hello? Wait, oh shit, are we not ready for this? Is I... it Gur who is gonna do this? Dude. I don't I don't know what that means. Hold on, wait a sec. We gotta go BRB. Someone's on the <laughs> line and they've locked they've bricked my stream. Hold on a sec. I don't know what's happening. Just uh, just Don't do anything. This this bit's great. <laughs> wait no, it's, it's you! Trong. What? Do I'm not know? I'm yeah, I know, but I'm not, I can't do two things at once. I know, but that's, okay, well, hold on, we're back to it. Uh, all right, pretend none of what I you just- I challenge you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> pretend none of that oh, ever shit happened. Shit is a Weevil Underwood. <laughs> what, hold on, the phone's ringing again. Who's on that? Who's that on the phone? It's me, Weevil Underwood. <gasps> What? Weevil Underwood? From Duel Monsters? The Duel Monsters champion? The, the number one ranked bug insect dueler? Yes. Uh-oh. Why are you contacting me? I fake? challenge you to duel! Oh my god. You want to duel me? But I'm not. I'm just some I'm just some scrub. I'm not a yes. ranked duelist. Holy shit. Oh my god, we gotta duel we gotta duel Weevil Underwood. It looks like you're already on my friends list. You're Bugs Lover, right? I like making ones like you score! <laughs> Alright, let's do it, Bugs. Let's do it, Weevil. I invited you to a friend duel. What do we play against him? I guess our only choice is to. You don't have any star chips, then you will just have to make someone you love! <laughs> what is. I don't know what he just said to me. Hold on, Chad. Do you know who Weevil Underwood is? This is not I am mean. I'll show you a picture. He's the number one ranked bug duelist. I'm gonna fuck you up! He's the guy, he's the guy that... D d Weevil, weren't you the one that got rid of Yugi's Exodia cards? Hold on, why is this JPEG not downloading to my computer? Probably! <laughs> Where is this picture of Weevil fucking Underwood? Get on my computer. That sounds like something I would do! Google, here he is. This is Weevil Underwood from the cartoon, and apparently he's real. And he's about to duel me. Did you get this my friend is, uh, duel? This is completely unrelated, but 
does anybody remember how to actually get into a, a match with another person I sent in Weevil, this game? I sent Weevil an invite. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure it's letting Weevil, uh, if you, don't, play. Can't you just, uh, click on friend duel and you just go there after you've been invited? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's Weevil definitely. Oh, that? wait, there, uh, I think Weevil got the invite. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So I threw his cards into the ocean and shouted, say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> okay. That's that's kind of fucked up of you to do. It was cool. It was, all right. Ready? You ready, Weevil? I'm ready up. Not only is your reputation on the line, but this wow, chat's Weevil. channel points. Wow, Weevil, Weevil is in plot. They've been, they've been playing you go this first, game Weevil. a lot. We wasn't plat. I mean, he is the number one ranked bug duelist. This is a wonderful throwback. Let's do it. All right, I can't. So, Chad, I can't be too open in my commentary. We got Weevil Underwood on the line. We're I'm kind of a big deal. I surrender. <laughs> Just kidding. I think we should start a Twitch channel. Quit fucking around, Weevil. No, so no charm. evil moves. Your setting. You. There's a dartboard field bonus in effect. <laughs> There's no field bonuses in the real game, dude. Let your first stop that the card rain. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna summon the Infinitrack Harvester in attack mode. Which will allow me to summon. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was actually really good. No, it's great. I'll activate the effect of Infinitrack Brutal Dozer and I will tribute Infinitrack Harvester. Pathetic! Activating it again allows me to pull another level 5 monster from my deck. Infinitrack My bugs are invisible! Yay. No, you said it. And with that, we're going to special summon Infinitrack River Stormer. In attack mode! Wait, stop! What do you mean, stop? You're playing too fast! <laughs> what do you mean, too fast? That's a pretty, that's a pretty, like, that's- I that, can't that... read the fucking cards! Read the card. Go ahead, go ahead and read the card, Weevil. I uh, fuck up when we start over, my cards are all wrong! <laughs> I want better cards! <laughs> Hold on, we're, and I'm gonna use. I'm playing heavy forward, which I'm gonna use to add. Someone, you're card in, my in deck. your turn. I'm gonna. All right, we're gonna add another. Well, I don't need to tell you what I add for my deck. Actually, that's not information not that, that you need, I need to know. I need to read the cards when I'm against it and make her like you. And I'm going to swing. I'm going to attack your set monster with a Infinitrack River Storm. Prepare to die. <laughs> Self destruct ant. What the hell is this? Bitch. Weevil, you have to explain your card. That's the rule of the I game. I play basic insect and attack master soldier laser with Capri sun and blood. That's not. You played self-destruct. You fell it. into my trap. Oh, shit. That does it twice. I equipped his self-destruct. I got a small for blunt. I, 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 I bugged I... killed you. <laughs> I equipped his self-destruct self to my infinite yes, card. To my storm drain, and it, it fucking did the flip effect twice. I didn't know that's how that worked. That's actually super interesting. Get uh, fucked. You can only use each effect of self destructive at once per turn, but it did it twice. That's weird. I don't know. Well, I guess, uh. I'm gonna detach. Your deck is fucking pathetic, bitch, bitch, guy. And I'm gonna get another card. There are two effects. Look at card. I don't know what he, I didn't understand what he just said. I'm going to treat myself to some sunny delight as I wait for you to end your worthless turn. My turn's Eat over. The card is full. <laughs> you shit out. He said again. You are an asshole. <laughs> you read card with a button. Uh. All right, he's set two. Set three and pass. Truly, I'm up against an elite duelist. 
You suck! Alright. Let's detach. There's no possible way you can win! I sent Infinitrack Tunneler to the graveyard, allowing me to pull an additional level 10 monster to my hand. You really make an oopsie foxy this time, you little clown! I don't know if you have the cards to back that up, motherfucker! I don't think you do! We're gonna special summon I'm about Super, to win. Super Express Bullet oh, Train! Level 10. Which allows me to special summon Heavy Freight Train Durakan! Dur yeah. Durakan! A second level 10 monster! And you know what that means, Weevil? Do you know what an Xyz summon is? Yo! Take! What the fuck? Oh Stop shit! Stop doing so much whitey shit! Stop doing your new <laughs> summoning shit! That's really bad. Say goodbye to your cards! Subscribe you suck it! Please subscribe to me. Alright, so he torrential tributed me. Rascal flat some stop but breakfast. I'm not out of options yet. Because I can do this. Yes, you are. Activating the, inf the effect of Infinitrack Anchor Drill allows me to special summon another Earth Machine monster, Book of Moon. You got no use! Target one face. Okay, so you've said it. Hmm. Okay. I play Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. Which I'll activate the effect of Infinitrack Brutal Dozer. See, you can't read the card anymore! Stop me. Are you done playing with trucks like a baby? No, I am not. No, I am not. Looks I... like you are having a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm going to link my Infinite Track Brutal Dozer and my Instead Infinite Track Dragon Instead of summoning these shitty cards, you should try summoning some bitches. Can I summon Double Headed Anger Knuckle? How about you have sex with the trucks? Because you <laughs> suck and love to have sex with trucks. And I activate his effect. Sandbox boy. I activate his effect. I send Infinitrack Trencher to the graveyard. Actually, no. I send Cami onto the graveyard, allowing me to special summon my Doesn't Super Express summon. Bullet Train. How typical of a new player! Stop! <laughs> stop! No, I will not. Stop. You can't do that. I'm gonna beat your ass. Shut I'm gonna up, escape this TV. Boy. I'm using these that two level 10 the trains to soon. summon... Stop it now! <laughs> Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max! No! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I'm gonna piss myself! Are you ready for this one, Weevil? I don't think you are. I detach a material yeah. from Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gustav Max! My heavy freight train, particularly, which allows me to activate the effect of heavy freight train Durakan and destroy your face down card. Where the dimension is my wall is gone. Bug? <laughs> and now, for the win. If I lose my grand body, do you want that as well? <laughs> These cards aren't real. You printed them at King Kong. Juggernaut Lieb! Activate your effect! You're Attach cheating! The Super Express Bullet Train! Bring your attack up to 6,000! Cheater! Die, Weevil! Shadow Realm for you! Cheater! Stop it! You're being an asshole to me! You, you are being an asshole! Aye, aye, aye! Is this a best of three? Yes, two out of or three! Are you done? Okay! Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> no! No! I will fucking win! <laughs> Calm down, man. Okay. I'm gonna fuck your day up! Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna shove those cards up your butt! <laughs> what the fuck is this hen? <laughs> Sick! Make your play, man. Quit complaining. What the fuck? 
The game didn't let me use my side deck! Can we start over? My hand sucks! No. This time you won't be able to survive my... Perfectly ultimate big big morph from the zoo! <laughs> it's time to summon my strongest creature! He's summoning! <laughs> hey, read the card! <laughs> Get fucked! <laughs> Your ass is crashed now, buddy! <laughs> Alright, Weevil, let's see if I have a counterplay to this. It attacks within sticky webs! Icky! <laughs> Double sucker motherfucker! I summon many on the Time the Lord! Sticking hand, or do you plan on letting my caterpillar grow up? And many on battles your caterpillar! Can you survive? So! Do you know what happens next, Weevil? When my Medion Time Lord effect activates, your Caterpillar ah. gets sent back to the hand. And you take 300 damage. I end. No, I don't. <laughs> Why the fuck did that happen? I if you beat me, I'm going to come to your house and punch you in the fucking mouth! What the fuck?! There are too many effects in this game, huh? You're just delaying the inevitable... Wait, My catapult grew a year older while it was on the field, you dirty... Can't understand you, man. Don't know, don't know a word you're saying. My top deck is succulent! Succulent?! My succulent top deck always brings me perfect You're cards. fucked now, buddy! Oh, shit. Put your money where your mouth is! I'm about to destroy you! My gecky! My caterpillar is gonna rip you a new butthole! <laughs> I will play a bogus card and... Wait! What the fuck? Rageki doesn't work on Time Lords, Weevil. That Many on the Time work. Lord is immune to card effect destruction! You're cheating! A waste of cards. Read the card, Weevil! Okay, well, check this out! <laughs> Shit, man. <laughs> this is bullshit. Why did you print out these fake overpowered cards? Can you beat that? Many on the time will return once again. Two. Put that nasty thing back where it came from. Please, please, please subscribe to me. Please, please, please. <laughs> end my turn. Did you have subtitles for guest? Fuck! I don't have my right now. My caterpillar is dead already. Sadly. What the fuck? It's not dead. It's in your hand. Joseph. Why the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Another battle. <laughs> Other year older. My caterpillar is almost an adult. <laughs> the way he says what? This guy out! Why the fuck did that happen? This I so don't crazy. remember putting this in my deck! Goki Boar? Holy shit! Oh well! This guy is swag! <laughs> this dude is the shit! This guy's a ball! <laughs> Are you sure is, man? Is, hey, hey. Is this guy really very watch out. No, he's like, he's the top ranked insect duelist. He's not the best duelist. All right, I summon Infinitrack Harvester. I'm gonna defeat you easily. And using the effect of Infinitrack Harvester, I add Infinitrack, I don't tell you what card In I have. the regional I champion. With these kids. Regional champion, what region? Kansas. What? Where? What region? Northwest. <laughs> Do you have a response, Weevil? You've fallen right into my trap, Wayne. <laughs> oh my God! Bottomless trap hole. When my opponent mon summons a monster with fifteen hundred, it's oh my God. However, your destruction was not enough to negate the effect. I still get to special summon a monster. 
bitch! <laughs> what is Wait, what? what? Infinitrack Trencher! Will you be able to get it past a 2400 defense card? I doesn't destroy the monster negate it! That doesn't it. make sense! It doesn't negate it. You destroyed it, but you didn't negate its effects. You have to negate its effects. It should! Your list with a little bit of swag busted down Seto style! <laughs> he got it with the sauce! <laughs> this wasn't part of the roll I stole from Pegasus! <laughs> this game is fucking <laughs> stupid! Man, it's in the- it's just the fucking rules. It's 2022. The game's different now. Make Check your play. This out! Can you get over my Tonka truck? It said something about peepers and suckers, nothing about effect negation. <laughs> Pegasus is kind of Pegasus. All right, Weevil. So you set a card in defense position. But it doesn't matter. Gamma Seal! Get rid of that card! You have two turns until I end! No. Whatever! Enjoy your sea turtle. That's no insect. It won't work in your meat <laughs> deck. Without your How bugs, you're you useless! You're useless! What the fuck? I don't want this! I summon Infinitrack Anchor Drill. Fuck off. Activating the effect. Fuck you, bitch! Summoning Infinitrack Brutal Sheesh. Dozer. Activating the effect! I summon Infinitrack Tunneler! Stop! Stop! How can you defeat so many monsters, Weevil? Stop, Don't worry. stop, 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 stop! I'll bring oh, down the number a little bit. You're I'll make going it easier too fast. for you. track Earth Slicer! You can only play one card a turn, stop it! Call it, Judge! And! Infinitrack Riverstorm! Gladys Rep! Can you slow down and take a minute to suck my balls? <laughs> Your truck suck and I fucking hit you! Sucker! I set the spell! Hungry. There's no food in this area! Your Gamma Seal! You said you didn't want it there, Weevil! I'm taking it back! You stupid motherfucker! You played right into my hands! Blazing Mirror Force! My balls! You <laughs> fucking little butthole! Cocker <laughs> sucker! Oh god, guys, this is bad. Wait a minute. I'm not on options yet, Weevil. Like what I did there! I use the effect I'm of going to send treasure in the, the graveyard. Bitch dimension. Get ready to lose. I'm going to win. Finally. And I summon. I'm about to win. Yeah. I summon Infinitrack Brutal Dozer in defense position. Oh, stop. Then I link it. You got okay. Link one summon Infinitrack Goliath. Wait, what? Do you know what Goliath allows me to do, Weevil? You've already A lost this duel. defense will get you nowhere. Why is it blue? Infinitrack, Earth Slicer, Someone return to the field! Shut up, you stupid cock! That card only has one number! This bitch and his youngest combos! <laughs> I use the effect the blue card is heavy cheating. forward! You're a to sweaty, change the battle sweet, position of Infinitrack Earth Slicer to attack! And it isn't over yet, we will. Die doing strings! <laughs> Say goodbye to your cockroach! Yes, finish your fucking turn, you dickhead! I end my turn! Would you just fucking quit it? Your turn, Weevil. No, Weaver. that's my line, you bitch! Can you come Not back from this? Cock. My balls! I bet you think you're so fucking cool! This all you do in your house! <laughs> he fucking mad! This kid's mad as fuck! Look at this card! I found it in a fucking dumpster! <laughs> Danger Moth, man! I'm not mad! Fuck you! You're mad! Weevil, what does this card do? You need to explain it. I'm going to fuck you with Danger Moth Man! 
Chief Vogue! I don't know! <laughs> oh shit! Help! We gotta put Sandy on our way. I think it was cool! He set a trap or a spell, we don't know. It could be either. Hey, watch this! I'm okay! I'm cool! It's so good! I'm taking that kaiju back! Your puny little caterpillar won't be able to break through my infiltrator okay. and slicer's defenses! You're fucked! What are you gonna do with that bug? It's your ultimate carded! Are you going to attack me with thin, sticky webs? What are you going to do? I'm going to win, you dumb bitch! It's your move! Later, boy! I'm going to fuck your mom! This guy is about to deliver it to your doorstep! Time to drop some bombs! Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay, well... Say goodbye to your caterpillar. And a lot of your life points. Lost wind! Shut the you're, fuck up! You're only delaying shit, shit. the inevitable! Brown what?! You negated its effects! Evil Underwood is the king of the fucking F-bomb! I can't steal your caterpillar, you're but that doesn't stop now. you from losing the game! Get on, you! You're done, Weevil! Hey, Zuck, I got a bag of fudge for you, man! It's good fudge, you can have it! I'm good. I'm good. Just kidding, it's shit! <laughs> oh no, I'm going to laugh! Fuck! Oh well! You still get one more turn, you still have halved the attack points! I'm taking part in Kinness, what's your problem? <laughs> I, act the, I activate the effect of Infinitrack Tunneler in my graveyard! Allowing me to return five cards to the deck. I thought I was winning! Why did that happen? <laughs> and I chain the effect of Mystical Space Typhoon! And I destroy your face down card! You won't be trapping me today, Weevil. No tricks! Let's chain do it. my ass to your mouth! Stop already, man! This shit is mad boring! <laughs> MST First doesn't Weaver. negate! This kid needs to it doesn't Stop negate. tunneling! Toxic, you list! You pay 2,000 life points to target one card in your graveyard. Special summon that targeted face down defense position. You bought yourself one last turn, Weevil. But it all ends Bro, soon. What the hell? Hey guys, you ever hear the pot of coffee? Hey, wait, and you should play a honey burger card. His bucks will be too distracted to attack it directly. I don't have that card, Joey. You should stop attacking me. Its effects are still negated. Shit. Shut up, Joey. Stop helping. <laughs> this dude can only win with his gay little trains. Look how help it. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't realize! Yuppie Astronaut, you pointed it out, I didn't see it. I do have those three cards in my hand. Weevil can't know. That's my secret weapon. You don't stand a bug of a chance! Fuck, this card fucking sucks! <laughs> you can still beat him if you believe in the heart of the cards! Thanks, Yugi. Thank you. Fuck you, Yugi! I'm only gonna be able to do 50 damage to him. Unless. Unless. I want to win! I don't want to lose! Infinitrack, Brutal Dozer! Stop attacking me! No! With this card, it's all over, stop, Weevil. Stop, stop, stop! Infinitrack, Drag Shovel, Special you Summon! Are looking? I throw my legs on the top of your head! I think you should actually let him win. I'm not afraid of your threats. You can't even my bows. Fuck you, asshole. You're fucking done, Weevil. 
What? The effect of Lost Wind in the graveyard? Monster, special summon from your opponent's extra deck while this card is in the graveyard. You can set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Suck it! Oh, what's this? A bag of fudge on the ground looks you, good. <laughs> you won't be able to do anything with that guard, Weevil. Mystical Space Typhoon! You're done for. This is it. Stop that! What the fuck, man? Say goodbye to your giant flea. And I infect no you. No fucking way! I activate the effect. I love the effect. Made phase two. I'm going to find your house and do something crazy. Just stuck for me, you know. Your tag is seen now. Edit. Top deck into mystical space death wounds. No skill like a new bitch. <laughs> I cast into the infinite into the Arc. Oh, good games, my good bitch. All You're right, making me look like a you fucking You haven't activated anything. Stop. You didn't play any cards. Don't just start yelling bullshit. I activate empty machine, which allows me to activate empty... Oh, oh I don't want to do this. Oh, Stop shit. Stop talking. I didn't mean to do that. I activate Infinite Machine! And I consume Empty Machine. I don't activate Infinite Machine. Ha, dumbass! But I activate Infinite Light! Save my dick! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> ha! Looks he's not reading their cards! He's combo dipshit! What's happening? Say that after you deal with my I infinite can't even River play any of these stupid fucking cards. Who the fuck designed this game? <laughs> Bring it on! Come on, Weevil. A set and pass? Pathetic. Pathetic. I'll give you a free turn. See if you can win your way out of this one. You're Weevil cheating. your way out of this one. Set and pass. Suck my ass. This is your last Fuck chance. You. If I win this duel, Weevil, I win the best of three and I become the regional top duelist. You and fuck your friends and fuck your deck and fuck your hand, fuck your stream and fuck your Twitch hat, you fucking bitch of a bastard. I drew the card I needed. This is so funny. If you win this duel, it means you're dead. <laughs> monster reborn? Reborn the monster? But Monster Reborn allows him to target one monster in his graveyard and Warn special summon it! Warn the monster! <laughs> if I win this, do I take over Radio TV Solutions? <laughs> You're fucked now, buddy! Insect Armor with Laser! Oh, save. You see that dildo that just flashed on screen? I'm going to fuck your mom with it! <laughs> Shareholders will be so happy! You die! But Weevil, you've only emptied the field for my effect! You don't know what my card does, do you? Suck, cuck, cuck, cuck. I activate infinite light! Allowing me to special summon any Time Lord in my deck! I don't know how to read! I summon... Sandion! No way! That's and Zavion! You're done, Weevil. It's over. Can you please stop playing your stupid and no cards and get some real deal, monsters? <laughs> Fuck are these? Please, 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 please. Wayne Radio Penis. Pass zero Dispatches. attack! If you beat me, you're dead! Zero attack, we I've never seen these cards in my life! Your attack did nothing here! See you in the Shadow Realm. You're a fool! Where'd your cards go, <gasps> Weevil? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> Yo, Monsters is actually like off now! Yo, number wins! <laughs> fuck you, you cuck bitch! I'm going to write so many Reddit threads about you! Yo! Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, oh, he oh, went oh, to the show! Yeah, yeah, oh. oh, shit, you know what I just realized, chat? This means I'm free! Pegasus' oh, deal, oh, I have to get- I have to trap oh. someone in the Shadow Realm, oh, you're and free? in exchange, I get to leave! You're free! Oh, no, no more! I'm free! 
I'm free! Pick I'm a me free up. boy! I'm free! Woo! I did it! I'm free Are from the shadow! Please don't mind me! I'm, I haven't I fully I don't want to be yet. in the tuck! I've, I've survived! I've done the it! The fucking shadow will me out of the... You're Get me there, out of this wackus prison! You're stuck. You're there forever. Maybe. Maybe one day we'll have a rematch, but for now, Weevil, you're stuck uh, inside this shitty stuck little my TV. Dick. Say hi to grandpa for me. Time for me to stream some fucking master do I guess. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Square Goodbye, on your Weevil. face, bitch. Goodbye. We're disconnecting the call. <laughs> bye bye. Can you read me? Up? All right, that's the that's the stream, everybody. We cut his line. He's, oh, that was gonna weird. Be, he's gonna be spending some time with the genre. I didn't think that guy was real. I thought he was like from a cartoon. Yeah, it's based off the real story. I I guess so. That shit's crazy. Um, but yeah, there were a couple other people that chimed in too that I didn't expect we were gonna be hearing. Maybe we'll hear from them in future Yu-Gi-Oh streams. I don't know. It's weird. I I figured Joey was gonna be here, but I'm not sure why I could hear Yugi's voice. Or was that even Yugi? I don't know. Uh, you, have a, those no, you have an ancient Egyptian artifact that's possessing your mind? I'm not sure. Thank you to everybody on this list. There was a ton of support tonight, especially after a stream that I... After after not streaming for, like, two weeks, after a long hiatus, there were tons, tons of subs. I really appreciate that. Thank you to everybody here. Thank you, Mike Ream, Hired, Divas, Power Yell, Vermillion, Sketcher, Gaskopedia, Partly Possum, Roboom, Volza, Dr. Crunk, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jill Jig, Pluck P, Flush and Peach, Carbo Bomb. Thank you all. Time for the shadow game? I don't know. I love this shittily crap background Dobie. One, one day I'll fix that. <laughs> one day I'll make that better. That was done in like five seconds. <laughs> Yeah, more streams coming up very soon. Probably not tomorrow, but maybe, who knows. Um, but soon, I got some really neat stuff in the works. Gnome is still in the works. I'll let you know when I have a date for that soon. It should be before the month's over. Uh, I want to stream more Yu-Gi-Oh! I want to stream Sifu. I want to stream... Uh, Dead by Daylight PTB comes out on Tuesday. The, the fucking lady from the ring. Samara, no, not Samara. It's the other one. What's, what's the... What's the original name? What's her name? Sadako! Sadako, yeah. Oh. Sadako, Sadako, uh, you know. Am I feeling better? I'm feeling a lot better, honestly. I haven't, not everything's fixed. There's, there's some shit I'm going through, but I'm doing okay. You don't have to worry about me. Um, we're gonna play Anacrusis, which is a Left 4 Dead game. Uh, the, uh, I wanna play, uh, some VR stuff. I wanna play, uh, I might stream Elden Ring. I can't figure out what I want to do with Elden Ring. I, uh... Oh, fucking Rumbleverse? Okay, I don't know when that shit comes out, but the next time there's a test, I'm gonna stream that shit. Rumbleverse might be my game of the year 2022. It, they, Rumbleverse is a, it is a wrestling battle royale. It's fucking amazing. It is so much fun. It's incredible. And for some reason, the test today was only for like two hours at like 1 p.m. I don't know why. Uh, I was kind of annoyed by it being at such a weird, like inopportune time. But Scorby and I played it. It fucking slaps. It's so good. I can't wait to play that game more. I hope they fucking put that shit out like immediately. Oh, what time is it for me? It's almost 1 a.m. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, and we gotta get back to Resident Evil 2 VR. I totally want to do that. That is not something I'm leaving in the dumps. We, I want to finish that game. I got to play Rumbleverse for a weekend. It was a lot of fun. Sad a lot of people weren't playing by the end. What do you mean? I guess, I mean, I guess if the if the test was closed, but this open test, like we were always finding matches. I think that game is gonna hit. That game, it generates stream clips. Like that's how it's gonna promote itself. Like if you look on my Twitter, I retweeted two clips, run from, one from some guy I don't know and one from Gianni. Uh, and the clip from Gianni, I'm just gonna play it. Oh, hold on, let me let me go get it. I want to show this shit to you guys. It's fucking amazing. Are you watching Super Bowl tomorrow? Nah, I don't give a shit about football. Uh, what? That's tomorrow. Cares? Have fun watching your crypto commercials during the halftime. <laughs> Damn. Check this shit out. Check check this fucking game out.
Hold on, I gotta turn the volume up. It's way down. Reynolds move. So there's a wrestling battle royale. You get you activate a super mode and you get to pile driver and look at this fucking shit you can do. Ryan Reynolds movie. Oh god no. From, from free guy. Bounce yeah, the yeah 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 yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fucking annihilate this guy. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds movie. This game has the potential to be game of the year 2022. I am so fucking excited. In a year where we have fucking Elden Ring, I think this that game is gonna contend. That shit was so much fun. And I didn't even have a chance to get good at it. I can't fucking wait, I can't fucking wait. Anyways, that's all. Thanks for hanging out, friends. Thanks for coming to the chat. Hey, thanks for the support. Thank you, everybody. I will talk Ooh. to you very soon. Good night. This has been a sex man film. Why is Santa here? What the fuck? A product of Gang Bang Productions. G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-